I think it, everything's off right now. There you go. I got you, buddy. I was talking to Lou. Right, here we go. Yep, to... Lynn, you won't get in trouble. I get in trouble. Guys, ready? Here we go. Welcome, welcome to the funniest podcast on the planet Earth. I always try to keep it like a comic hang. I have a bunch of guys on. It's just us sitting down and yapping. And sometimes it's hilarious. Sometimes it's intense. It's Robert Kelly's. You know what? what? Podcast. No topics, no directions, but I love doing it. Riotcast.com. I gotta keep. I gotta keep turning the camera to fit less of Kelly in. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just to get closer to Joe. It's okay. Yes. Oh yeah, cough. Cool. All right, so uh, here we are, uh, back once again <coughs> with uh, uh, another episode of YKW. I don't know how Scopo. <coughs> we, we're a double cam. Yeah, I don't know why. How'd that happen? Fuck yeah. you. <laughs> I don't, you get half a scopo. You only, you only get half a scopo. Now face. it's uglier. Now, now it's what it should be. A nice fucking bald fat guy. Uh, we got um, a great show for you lined up today for free. That's the big fucking thing. That's why you can't really critique us because it's for nothing. You're in a truck. You're in a cab. It's a good point. You're in a car. You're in a cube or in a train. This is nada. It's live. I got some of the funniest motherfuckers walking the earth and some of the almost <laughs> good people of America <laughs> walking the earth. I wouldn't take that and we joke. have one waiter on a couch. <laughs> he's my friend. Yeah, he's everybody's friend. But we have two waiters. Kelly's here. <laughs> I would have made that joke, but I thought you literally were talking about Kelly. The first time. <laughs> I thought he was talking about me, too. And I was like, oh, good one, Bob. <laughs> That either Scopo is off. Oh uh, yeah, he didn't do that. He's not good at things. You know, he's really not. He's he, he's good. He's good. This one Scopo's good when you fucking give him a nice hot one, and what then he, he's great when you fucking do what? And then he'll, for like two day, two weeks he'll be fucking no, on fire. Well, that, that nice cast is not my fault. Time out, time out. What Bobby is that? didn't explain anything just what? now. He said, "What do you mean?" And you went, "You know," and he's like, "Da da 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 da." In two weeks, hot one means all these different things. You say hot one means you bombed. Yeah. A lot. Everyone else in comedy is like a hot one. Is like a, a good one. It was a hot one. A hot one. And then you give him a hot one. Is that load? What are we talking? Hot yeah, one is like forget about it punch now. Punch in the face. A hot one. A hot one can be a bunch of different things. Yeah. I know. That's what I'm saying. A hot one when you give me scope. You fucked up. You fucking dumb cocksucker. Right. He responds to that because he's Italian from Queens. Right. He responds to a fucking baseball bat. Yeah. Or or a fuck you, you <clears throat> idiot. I'm just Kelly saying. doesn't respond. Kelly no. will cry yeah. and fall apart. So you yeah. gotta you gotta kind of handle Kelly in a different way. Yeah. But him, yeah, and then three weeks will be fine. But then he slowly fucking teeters off like any employee at a fucking Grossman's but bargain. Joe, wait, wait, what do you defer- mean when you say hot one? Is right. that what you're this saying? is the first. This is the newest meaning of hot one. Yelling at somebody. Right. Hot yeah. one. I use hot one actual, as, as right. yeah. I use hot one a bunch of other things. It's right. like mahalo. He just says right. It. Just throw it out there. Yeah. What are you doing? No <laughs> phones during the show. I, and you know what? I, I, there's I, no I, phones. No, I have there's to. There's no phones. No, I no, have to. there's no phones. There are no. No, there's right no now. phones. Robert. No, no. I don't give a fuck. Kiss. No kiss, phones. Kiss. Kiss. <laughs> kiss. There's no phones. Robert. No. You have to let me explain why. Why? Because I didn't know there wasn't food, and this girl is, is trying to bring food here, so I have to tell her not to. What kind of food? <laughs> the fucking food that I was making for you before the show. No, you said you brought hot dogs. They're pigs in a blanket. I had to wrap them. What other food thing. is she bringing? More of this. I'll tell her to bring it. Don't cancel that. Bring it it's to raining. the. It's raining. I'm not going to have her bust her ass to come over is here. She, it's a block away. Wait, and my dog needs her more than you need the hot dogs. So I mean, we don't need the. <laughs> Lynn's pills just this. kicked in. <laughs> are you, are you going to actually text. Uh, we have to live through it real time, your text? Why don't you just talk amongst yourselves? And There's you no phones on the show. <laughs> Hit the button and put the, the big phone away. That is a big phone. It's a huge phone. Why do you why do you have me on here to be mean to me? I, I I'm not mean That's to you. That's his thing. You're being mean. You're being mean to me because you're disrespecting the whole show. 
by that, having a phone. We have a phone jail that we put phones in. That's too big that's for the too phone big jail. That would actually wouldn't fit in the phone jail. <laughs> we need we'd a phone get, prison. We'd have to get a new. <laughs> we'd have to get a new jail prison. Did you know ninety percent of the phones in jail are black? <laughs> <laughs> it's a real. I yeah. wish we had just a Joe camera. Yeah. Oh. I wish you didn't have to share it with those two. Thank you. Well, <laughs> Kelly's trying to trying to move in on my glasses hey. department. I was cool where, guy glasses. Now she's the, the same pants. Where's the camera? It's not on me. Yours is here. Yeah, uh, yours is oh, here. Yeah, you, you have your own camera. It looks mm. good too. You look good on camera. Oh, they look good. I should say. <laughs> oh, that was. You know funny. what? I wore that big sweater, but I because oh. I'm going through fucking menopause. I had. You don't have men. You're not going through menopause. Yeah, I am, Bob. No, you're not. I want to see a doctor's note. You're too young to go through menopause. How old are you? 46. Oh, shit. All right. You're going through menopause. I'm, I, I swear to God, I'm going to strangle you. Are you really going through menopause? Let's go, but this is going to be your show soon. Are you excited? Because I'm going to strangle him. You think he takes it? No, I it's think a long, me or Dan There's a long over. line before me. Yeah. I know it's, that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah it's, he's not even. I'm not even close. I'm like, I'm right before <laughs> Kelly. Which is. <laughs> 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 Kelly's just pissed. <laughs> hey, is this, is this a bit? Can I bounce a bit? Yeah, We've never ahead. done that before ever on the show, right? Go ahead, Joe. I'm going to bounce a bit. There's a reason. We need. I wish I wish Dan was here to do a voice. Well, yeah. menopause. Something. This is the bit. <laughs> <laughs> menopause reminded me. Yeah. I, I was having my niece a couple weeks ago. Yeah. Kids, so easy to make laugh. You just you just guess their age, but higher. Always a laugh. Like a five year old. I'm like, what are you? Ten? You're eleven? You're driving? You're married? Yeah. They lose their shit. Yeah. But if you did that to an adult, what are you? Sixty? You're menopausal? You're retired? That's a bit. <laughs> it's a bit. You guys decide before you're going to stone face me. I did not. No, we did not. Joke. We just, it, we, it, I mean, I don't know. Does that work in the club? I haven't tried it yet. I thought I'd bounce it up here. It works in Duck Club when he dances. Though. <laughs> it whispers in a girl's ears. It'll probably get a hot one. <laughs> <clears throat> I bet it'll be a hot one. Oh. Or right. a warm one, at least. All right, here's the thing, too. We have, let's go around the room. We, of course, we have Lynn Coplitz. Hello. Who was here last <laughs> week. Um, we're supposed to have Dante Nero. But he apparently just cancels, or he's, he's late. He started stripping again. Oh no! He was, <laughs> I can't even. Every time I think of that, I just think of a big vein cock. He's oh. got to have a huge, just piece, a massive. Right? But it's not. It's not huge. Like it's it's symmetrically uneven. Like the vein, it hooks to the left. The helmet is smaller than the rest of the dick. <laughs> yeah. You ever see those dicks with a? It has a regular Have guy I? helmet. <laughs> I've had that, but you're, you're, it fluctuates. Sometimes my helmet is three times the size of the body, and then sometimes it's then smaller. Then you should go to the doctor. That yeah. is well, not, that yeah, that's, not cool. I mean, maybe not three times. But, yeah, that's uh, called herpes. That's, only <laughs> <when> I, <laughs> that's called the genital wart. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Joe. Back to Vietnam. <laughs> I love Joe does radio stuff on video. <laughs> into the, into the camera. <laughs> you cut that. It's Joe cam. I did a physical bit on my album. What was it called? The album? No, the the physical bit. What was the bit? I don't name my bits. You don't name, you name you, your you, bits? Well, when you put it on an album, you're going to have to have a name. We'll have a sweet? track title. It's going to be called Joke 4. What are you going yeah, to Maybe. That's not bad, actually. That's a great idea. <laughs> Joke yeah. 4. I might steal that of myself. Well, you can't steal it. It's your idea. I know. You can have it. That's what I said by I don't myself. Want it. Anyways, we got Lynn <laughs> Coppins here. She was on the show for the first time last week. Um, and the she was late. Time. She was late. I wasn't late. Last week, I was booked at 3.30. Scoble, was she late today? Oh, today today I was, was a little bit late, late because was of the she? fucking hot dogs, Bob. Well, you know no. what? Give her the benefit of the doubt. She was late, but her tits were on time. So, <laughs> Lewis, that's you know what, Lewis? I had already decided I wasn't going to be mean to you, and on the stairs I was nice, and I, I gave you a kiss, and now you're going to. That was a compliment. Me. I said you had nice big old titties, Lynn. <laughs> Emphasize old, but. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, fuck oh my God. This is why you can't let losers get hot girlfriends. <laughs> this is great. All right, Dante, Dante's downstairs. It's going to take, with his midget ass Dante. and legs, it's going to take some 45 minutes to get up here. I love he looks him like so Aaron much. Neville. Uh, <laughs> I love him so much. All right, yeah. Listen, he's sitting on the couch with you, so I hope you love him. I, I am terrified of Dante. <laughs> why? Is what do you mean, the horn why? Airing? You should make an argument why I shouldn't be, not the other way around. He's got bones sticking out of his ears. He's 380 pounds. It's very racist to say that. That's not racist. Yeah. He has big things coming out of his ears. Um, it's not a bone. It's a tooth. He's got Whatever. An extra, bone, he's got an extra tooth? bone in his ear, did you say? A tooth is a bone, isn't it? <laughs> isn't teeth bones? It's uh, like an earplug. It's not like... Uh, it's not like a, a twin. You guys made it sound like he's got a tooth coming out. It's like it was a we got next to Lynn, we got uh, Louis J. Gomez is is in the house, the mm. rattlesnake. <laughs> I don't know why I like that. I don't li I like his that's his altoid when he says something. Lynn, edgy. don't don't hold back, Lynn. 
I know. I like that, okay. that Bob said it's his Altoids as yeah. if Lewis has ever used a breath mint in his life. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, no. He said old. Fuck you. I'm a, it's menopause and you know better. <laughs> you fucking know better. The gloves are off. Yeah, this is great. We have uh, Joe List, my my the, the sniper, the Yay. truth list oh, is here. We love Joe. Probably nice to see. It's been we a got, while. We got Dante. Dante, Aaron Neville, fucking <laughs> Nero is here. What's up, buddy? You're late. On, You're fucking late. Our friend Chris this is, the is problem. watching. I'm, relax, you. I introduce people. Settle down. I go to Kelly Festuca. Uh, hello. Who is the right hand woman of the show? Hey, mate. And then, but the left tit woman of the show as well. Left tit. And then we have. Uh, I fuck up all the time, Scopo. But yeah. I give you an angry face. I really don't care, and I'll fight you. <laughs> Hey, Bobby. How you doing? Scopo is here. <laughs> he texted me today. Can I get you anything? I go, yeah, a coffee and some nuts. But if it's going to make you late, don't do it. Because last week, he goes, I go, he was like 15 minutes late. I go, where were you? I had to get you coffee. So he blamed me <laughs> No, I late. said I, have, I got my wallet home. I had to go all the way back home to get my, to get my wallet so I can get you coffee. That's an easily unprovable thing. Yeah. So yeah. is it hard for you to reach your wallet? That, that's that's like your... that's like saying you have an earache when you want to miss school. They really can't mm. check that. There's yeah. no there's no thing about earaches. Mm. You know what I mean? No one can tell if you're you need, lying. Do you need an alibi? I can probably get an alibi. I think it was my. I would uh, love a joke. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. It's getting you can, rough. If you can trade five alibis for one joke. Uh. I take that. You <laughs> unfunny. Yeah, twat. you you alibi <laughs> sexual. Ah. <laughs> there it is. We got, oh, you didn't say a good joke. You just said a joke. Dante uh, <laughs> Nero is fun, here. Man. Are you guys comfortable? You all right over there? Because yeah. we have, we have another you, mic. Do you want me to move more? No, I'm good. Are you good? You okay. good? You uh, you want something to drink? You, why are you late, motherfucker? I was I, I was trying to get some food. I didn't eat nothing all day, and uh, then it took me a long time to get it. So I just had to wrap it up, and I brought it up. You can't eat up here. I know. I didn't bring. I'm not eating. Where is it? It's on the box. Wait, are you telling people no food? I didn't bring the. F I, Hang on one second. It's not you. It's no. not you. Well, and it's not you. <laughs> no, There's, because I think we almost going lost the fucking studio. We Who almost lost food into a, a work environment. Everybody, everybody does. <laughs> I go on radio. I bring fucking. This is the Robert the Kelly show. <laughs> Everyone assumes food Sir, is okay. That's true. <laughs> and, and no, and last week he said to me, "Where's the food?" Yeah. <clears throat> but I don't book that's the show. Nice I don't book the show, Bob. Where's the food, dude? Really? <laughs> Jeez, everyone's That's all it takes bitch. to get on your good side. A fucking nice little uh, impression. <laughs> Here's the deal. No, oh, was that a Scopo, I'm going to say it on the radio from now on. No. When you book people, no food. They can eat downstairs. There's a fine restaurant downstairs called the Olive mm -hmm. Tree Cafe mm -hmm. at 117 McDougal Street mm -hmm. above the comedy cell. Bob, nothing got sent here. <laughs> then why did you ask me where the I treats were? What? What? Why'd you ask me where the treats were when? last week? Last week, you said, where are the treats? Did you bring food? I think it was okay. It's like a reflex movies. for him. It was a joke <laughs> because you always bring food. It was a joke with you because every time you come to the, well, every time you do spots at the cellar, you bring this food. When Lynn's on the show, there's going to be some type of cupcake or uh, a pork loin or something on the table. <laughs> cupcake or pork loin. I can't believe you're 46, loin. man. It's very she, wide range. It's she does. She, it's there's it's no true. theme to her fucking I made food I strawberry bringing. shortcake yeah. the other day. Yeah, it's like she watched Rachel Ray and that's what she makes. <laughs> and then, and then poor Veronica Mosey brought a peanut brittle one day and they called her they called it coplets brittle and fake coplets brittle. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, what happened to where is she? I don't know, but I felt that I, that was so She's mean. Married. She like, got married, I think right? she had a baby, didn't she? Jesus, oh, yeah, a she lot had a baby. Happened. I think she had a baby. <laughs> yeah, she did. She died. <laughs> Shut up. She went from hey. peanut brittle to Jesus, Lewis. <laughs> Lewis. Uh, My God. Whoa, Wes. Uh, you're a fucking jerk. <laughs> I really, I really like, I like Lewis so much more pre hot wife. Why? What do you mean? Because he's he's dicky. Like he, today he's more. Like no, can I tell you? You know, I did take that angle. That was that was not your fault. Lynn is a uh, headliner. She's been so for a long time. She's friends with you. You, you just, guys are. are if you are, just said Lynn is a in a, a cunt, I would have laughed. <laughs> I would have laughed my ass off if you fucking had the balls. Seriously, to say I was that. running five minutes late, and Bobby literally will fucking flip out of me, and th he throws right. things at me, hits me when I'm late. Uh. So I. But I have up, a bad I, hip, and I you, you, uh, and you didn't even think to say to me, "Can I take your heavy bag from you?" Oh, that's Can rude. Well, let me tell you. He has no manners. That is Lynn, what really Lynn, that. Lynn's on, walking Liz. up the stairs. I'm already running late. I had to stop to get Altoids. It was a whole thing, dude. <laughs> I'm an old rattlesnake. Then she hits the buzzer, dude, and she's just kind of sitting there. She's chatting with me, and then she starts walking up the stairs and just like, yeah. just like fucking... 
a yeah. slow old person it's, walking up the she's stairs. She's carrying food for you, you inconsiderate and I'm, douche. And I'm literally going, Bobby's going to fucking hit me as soon as I walk in the studio. Yeah. And I'm sweating because yeah. I'm rushing here. And it, was, it, was your, it wasn't your fault. It's Bobby's fault. It's your no, fault. Sorry, you should have been here I at wasn't, You're right. I'm not on. I everybody, didn't have that same. Here's the deal. I, I, everybody, Lewis, you come late. Every week. Like you're about to cry. Every fucking week, you're late. Whether it be a minute or five minutes, you're never on time. And the reason why is because you got away with it once. That's your problem. You got away with it one time, so now you're gonna you, you're always gonna be one to five minute late because that's the fuck you that you like to give me. I think it's lack of parental guidance, personally. I mm. lack of parental anything. <laughs> They're dead. Yeah. What? Is that true? Yeah, <laughs> Veronica <laughs> Mosey's my mother, actually. <laughs> he, he, yeah, he's a bit of a dumpster kitty in that way. <laughs> <laughs> she called you a dumpster kitty. Wait, I, I, I listened to the fucking show last week, and fucking... Oh, Len no, wait, is it back to her now, or am I the am I the big bad monster? Are you on her? You listen to this show? I listened live, the, <laughs> the second half. And they, they were ripping me a new one the whole time. She's telling my girlfriend, she's my, the mother of my child, she's too good for me. So then I'm feeling like an that, asshole. That no, that was, that that's was true. actually B talking to herself. <laughs> <laughs> that was B, that was B that talking to Lowry. And then literally lingles like this. She's like, you know what? Honestly, I have to say about Lewis, he's a really good... And then the fucking feed went out because Scopo <laughs> fucked up. So I didn't even know... I was just going to say on. to you, you know what? You are really going to eat shit because I said really nice things about you. Yeah, at the end that I didn't fucking hear. So then I'm fuming in the apartment with my kid in my hand. I'm like, we're leaving your mom. Fuck Lynn. I'm going to punch this bitch. Wait till I see her. I got all worked up. And then then B was like, oh no, everyone was like complimenting you at the end yeah we come but we said i mean it was definitely a fake like, a bunch crazy, of fake compliments. no it was crazy nice we said he was really funny we said he's a good guy mm, we, you we, said we were very nice handsome. <laughs> here's a deal i never said i don't I, I, here's I, a I deal lewis <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh you i gotta say this right now and I, honest to god you oh. look great you're looking great <laughs> no sugar look grand dude you're looking great um and here's the thing you'll be back You'll be, yeah. <laughs> that's the one thing I can count on on you nope. is your, yeah you will I haven't smoked pot in five days wow oh. I'm doing two cheat days a month every other Sunday I'm doing a cheat day okay that's it and I, I did for no, three months I did one cheat day are you not smoking pot why because your wife won't let you no no that's not true no dude honestly I'll tell, you, I'll tell you when he smokes pot he's a a dumber person. Yeah. I am. He when yeah. some people smoke pot and they become better, uh, more enlightened more relaxed, people, dude. he becomes a fucking moron. Okay. Because I, I when we do shows, he's always the Lewis I love before the show. Mm. Then he goes up, does his thing, and I he rewards love, himself. I love Lewis like this oh, you too. can talk right in the middle of it. Um, <laughs> that's how radio works. Hey, we, don't even wear the headphones. Why do you have those on? He fucking he, he turns into fucking dumb a weird idiot. No, really, it's funny though because like I'll go up and then I'll open for Bobby and I'm sober because you know I don't want to be dumb. Then he headlines an hour later. He comes off and like, what's up, bro? Let's go eat. He's an idiot. Just a shitty person. I'm glad you're not good on weed. Yeah. I, you know, dude. No, like I'm not. I'm not bad on weed. I am not as sharp when I'm smoking pot. No, no, I no. I, 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 you're not. I'm saying that you're, you're not a good person on. But weed. I, I haven't not been on weed for the past three months on the show. You know. That's great. Good for you. I've always been on weed. But you can't really judge yourself not on weed because you're on weed. No, I've, I t I've taken when off a couple months at a time. I, I do this every few months. I'll take off a few months. Yeah, but you'd have to ask somebody else how you are when you're not on weed. You can't. You, you can can't definitely tell, dude. Let me tell you something. I'm usually falling asleep by 6 p.m. when I'm not when I'm smoking. You know, that's what we like. We should do the show at seven when you're sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> you have to have some weed, Lou. <laughs> <laughs> I think I, I do that I, without weed. <laughs> what would you say? I'm so fucking old. I do that without weed. You At six o'clock, I'm like, I am so sleepy. Uh, I, 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 it kills me to say you look great. Thanks, buddy. you look great. You do and look I, good. I fell off. By the way, <gasps> when I, the, I fell off the no sugar, no grains. I'm, I've been going back on and getting off and going back on and getting. Mm. So I, I haven't. All the king's men couldn't put you back together again. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly, that, Kelly laughs at everything, so I don't even yeah, think that counts as not a bomb. That nah, was a bomb. Give him the bandage. No, because Dante laughed. laughed it took and then a second. You laughed. You were smiling. <laughs> Bobby even it, laughed himself. I didn't, I didn't laugh. No, you laughed, Lynn, but it took you a no, second I to get it. I went like this when I got it. <laughs> it's Joe's delivery, though. It makes me smile. Listen. Oh, thanks, sweetie. Oh. I fell sweet. off a little bit. So basically, she just said your joke's not funny, but yeah, it's the way I'm you say it. What you have to do is you got to do a cheat day, dude. That's it. Well, once you do, it's. What I did was I built up for something for the pilot and to learn drums and I was losing weight and I, I did all and then when I, when it was done you had nothing to I had focus nothing on. to focus on and I'm in I'm in I'm away from my family up in Canada and I got lonely and I got anxiety and all the stuff that I usually can battle 
and it fell apart. And then I started cheating. And by the end of it, I fucked up big time. And then when I came back, now I'm, you know, my wife has, you know, pasta salad around and chocolate. And I, there's a fucking, you know, I stopped at the uh, Donut Den on 14th Street. Ugh. How, how, li- how, much, did you, hours a day. how much did you lose, Bob? Bob 45 you were- pounds. So Oof. don't you feel better? I do. So... That that's not motivation enough for you to. No, to, not uh, for an addict. Uh, Are you out of yeah. your mind? No, no. no, you know what feels good too. When I went to Donut, Donut Den and I got fucking a, a box of they came out of the oven, the, uh. the, the, the crullers, the fucking glaze stick came out of the oven. But don't you feel bowl. like shit after you eat them though? Well, here's the deal. I, I, don't. I, I know that I, I know where I'm at right now. Okay, I fucked up. I fell off the no shirt. I'm getting back on it. I'm gonna get back on it, but I am gonna allow myself because. I got to allow myself some sort of um, some release. Release. I'm going to have a cheat day, but I'm also going to have, um, I'm going to add some more, uh, some different vegetables into my life. I'm going to start doing a lot more fish. Yeah. I'm going to start doing a lot more of this stuff because I grill now that I'm up at the house. I grill two times a day. Right. I was out last night, 8 o'clock, doing pork chops and yeah. grilled mm. vegetables on the barbecue. It was right, right. fucking amazing. I love living out mm. of the city so much. But it's, I don't know if um, you noticed, but we grill in Brooklyn too. I don't know if you know. Yeah, that. but you guys grill on a. You get hit we, by a uh, car. <laughs> yeah. I'm robbed. We're not talking about gold yo, teeth, yo. Dante. We're talking about food. <laughs> yeah, give me those pork chops, son. <laughs> what motherfucker? <laughs> Well, Bobby, you know, I, I, I lost 13 pounds, but I gained 40, so you can't really tell. But <laughs> <laughs> that would have been 53, no, so you I did. I, gained, I, I lost 13 pounds within the last two months, but I, I gained 40, so I'm yeah. still on. Well, 20 of that was working. just in her lips, so. <laughs> I don't even know what that he's means. Not, you get the collagen implants in oh, your really? lips. Oh, yeah. really? I don't. Those oh. are my lips, you dumb schmuck. Um, <laughs> <laughs> attack, Lynn. Attack. Well, no, I mean, if, it's, if it was real. <laughs> well, then I would be like, oh, that's embarrassing. But it's <laughs> you called me a dumpster child three minutes ago. I called the- you a dumpster kitten. He's not a dumpster kitten. He's a toilet baby. Don't you know the difference? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. A, dum- a dumpster kitten is just to say you that like- You suck, Lewis. Your parents are gone. You're just kind of feral. You really don't think you're kind of a- you- Maybe not now, now that you have a baby and B, but you really don't think you were a bit of a dumpster kitty when you were living with Haley? Uh, no, here's the thing. Here's the- she had this- Exactly. What? Haley was her like assistant. A, no, Haley was her who assistant. My roommate. Haley's a six we, foot fucking one giant hippie bitch who's literally a lunatic. I love Haley. She's a good friend of mine. Crazy. I don't fucking. Be mean about I her. love Haley. She's. A, I do. I stay with Haley when I go to LA. She stays yeah. with me when she comes to New York. I'm friends with Haley. Yeah. Huh. You just she, date her? No. No. Uh, she's bananas. Okay. She's yeah. literally a lunatic. Haley has these stories about how I lived in her place and fucking. She had to pay me to leave her apartment. Haley was squatting. Was taking six hundred dollars a month from me as rent for six months and not paying the landlord. The landlord came to change the locks one day and told me that I've not been paying rent. And I was like, "Fuck this! Are you out of your mind?" And then I, Haley started. Uh, she ended up giving me back six hundred dollars to move out because I was like, "I don't have money to leave, and I'm afraid that my shit's gonna get locked in this apartment and my dog's gonna starve to death." That's what happened. So I know if you're that. if you're getting your source that. of information she told me that. from bananas, as- I knew that. Okay then. So why you friends with her? Ch- child? That's a really shitty thing. She also said that like you instead of washing your clothes. I mean, do you want me to say it out yeah, loud? Yeah, hundred percent. You would like buy a new T-shirt. I was just teasing you. Yeah, that's all you. true. Yeah. It's just <laughs> comedy, you dumb fuck. Lighten up. All right, collagen lips. Why don't you fucking lighten up? <laughs> if it, if, okay, if I had collagen lips, I really would. But I don't. Want to make fun of the other shit? Like I haven't gotten my Botox in a long time, or my I don't know. It just seems to be like that. I don't know. What the hell is a collagen lip? To be <laughs> it's a collagen lip. They shoot. Collagen lip? You you get, sh- your mouth I almost gets find SATs. that to be a compliment but if it really looks like I have collagen. Listen, in you it. have sexy lips, Lynn. I'm not going to lie. But there's, it's not. That's what I'm saying is that's awesome if it looks like there's collagen. So in why it. are you going to so offended if it's a compliment? Because yeah. it's just a stupid cut down. All right, listen. <laughs> All right, we got to get I'm back offended, on course. I'm offended at the badness of the joke, not the... Uh, <laughs> Bobby just got bored on his own show. I really... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I, I wanted to comment on the weight thing, Bob, because I, I wanted you to, well, I want you to do nutrition. Okay, I, I would like to hear uh, uh, you and Dante. So why don't you go first, Lynn? No, I was just going to say that I, you should really look into like Nutrisystem or one of those because it's awesome and you'll like it. Because they I'm doing Jenny you, Craig. Which is in, I'm doing Jenny Craig. Okay, but I, I didn't but, know she was still alive. Well, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, <laughs> 
Did they, did they send you the food? That's not. No, you, you gotta I'm it doing. Up. Je, I'm, I'm yeah, doing Jenny it. Craig. He goes. I didn't know she was the your fucking Jenny Craig, and he made a fucking Jenny. <laughs> Craig. Thank Nobody you, Bobby. Laughs I appreciate at that. it. I didn't. I didn't hear oh. his delivery. What the That's fuck, you guys? Actors funny. or comedians? No. <laughs> fucking. <laughs> the, delivery, he, he changed his delivery. His delivery is perfect. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Listen, <laughs> Je, but here's the problem with Jenny Craig and those foods. Okay, it's. I'd rather eat regular food. It's really my wife. But here's the deal. My wife cooks all the time. I cook all the time, and when I'm on the road, I'd rather go. My, my trick was I was going to really nice places for lunch and dinner. I wasn't eating at the club right? unless they had really good food. I was eating steaks and vegetables and chicken and vegetables and big salads. And, and vegetables. So, right. So yeah. I, 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 it cost me more money, but it helped me out. These Jenny Craig things, I, they're no good for me. I'm on the road all the time. I'm not packing a fucking luggage of food. No, that, but here's, I ship here's, mine. Here's, I ship the food. Here's the. I'm not doing that. Here's the great thing about it. It it teaches you portioning. Yeah. Where yeah. you wouldn't know, or you wouldn't understand the. Yeah, portioning. but I don't. I don't need portioning. What happened with the no sugars, no grain? That was great for me. That's is that my portion? I didn't overeat because my body wasn't craving the sugars. So when I when I when I overeat is when I have breads and and, and risottos and, and sweets and all of a sudden I want more and more and more. I'm not hungry, but when I when, uh, three weeks into the no sugar no grains, I was I was just full. Like I was eating half the food I was eating the way it should be. Yeah, My but body, the other thing is every three uh, hours you're supposed to eat something as well. Yeah, but so do you get? I, do you? Get I was your, eating. Do I was you get your snacks you know, in as well. Here's the no? thing. Yeah, I was having uh, nuts, and but I was eating when okay. I'm hungry. So, it, but I was, I knew without forcing it, I my body just became naturally what it's supposed to do. It was doing its job. Okay, Bobby, and that was the might, that might've... was the greatest thing for me. <laughs> but when I had, I'm sorry, buddy. When I had sugar again, when I started eating the carbs again, it, it fucked up my glucose levels and all this shit. And all of a sudden, like last night, dude. I cooked the pork chops. It was great. We ate. My <laughs> and then the baby. Was, uh, we had to go to CPR for the baby. What? Have you done that? No, because uh, you have CPR to training. Yeah. you have to know how to uh. do CPR on a baby. Not he didn't need it. I had to learn how to do it. Oh. Um, so that's why, funny. Why, why don't you so learn that before they're born? Yeah, we should have, but we didn't. So I did. <laughs> Beatrice went. Be Beatrice actually took a class, and I watched the online YouTube training thing. <laughs> sure, you did. <laughs> yeah, I did. did you? No, he, I, I, he would do that. He would. He, no, wouldn't, he I, would never. The only thing that. in the world that I have is my fucking son. Yeah, Kelly, I did that. Well, you have me. See, <laughs> yeah, we worked out together that, that one time. I, I, I don't. In a million years, I Thank think you. I, I, I really? shake my rattle. Oh, <laughs> just threw it in her. I didn't mean to hit your tit with it. I swear. Just you're supposed to do the rattle thing. <laughs> uh, Lewis takes care of his baby. <laughs> Your rattle sound, like, sounds sad. Well, she has menopause, so let her have the old rattle. <laughs> it's not oh, you it, have. Doesn't even, it doesn't it's even sound disease. like that. It just sounds like things knocking up. Like <laughs> so, so last night we eat the food. Dawn, the baby was up too late. And he was she had a, it was crazy when you have to put a baby down. And it doesn't want to go to sleep because it's too fucking tired. Is one of the craziest things ever. So she finally went to bed. No, not even it's even worse than that. And then she goes to bed. I'm sitting there by myself and my brain. Because I've been eating sugar, I fucking uh, I just went in, and I got a, I got a couple crackers. I ate a couple crackers, oh, and no. then that crackers, I was like, oh, she's got those bunny cheesy things, <laughs> those little you know the fishies, yeah. but they're bunnies. Yeah, yeah. But you like know goldfish. You, goldfish, but they're bunnies, and you, you, bunny cheddars, cheddar bunnies, and Ooh. you eat a fistful of them, but it's not enough. It's like a Werther's. Then you it's start like you dipping them in stuff. Mm. See, I want to dip them in things. I just start taking fistfuls, and, and like then I went to the chips. Mm -mm. And then I was looking for a stash. I was looking for. I, I was like, "There's a donut somewhere. There's a cookie." I do that. It was a fucking nightmare. I did it last night. So, do you feel guilty? The if you cheat like the same way, if you cheated on your wife, do you feel guilty when you eat like that? Yep. I, I get because it's the same. I thing. I don't cheat on my wife. I don't know what you do, but yep. <laughs> I cheat on your wife all the time. <laughs> I do. You I know, know what that means. <laughs> how fat, how fat is this? I've actually gotten up in the middle of the night and gone. This is so fat. I've gotten up and gone into old purses looking for candy. Like, candy. One of these bags has got to have a mint or something. In it. But that, that's like the thing with the Jenny Craig stuff. I can't do it because once mm. I can't do that for the rest of my life. 
I got to be able to. I, the, the, the no sugar, no grain was perfect because there's the thing is that dude, it it's not a extreme. diet. It seems extreme. Yeah. But it's you make these little tiny changes. I can That's eat right. as much as I want. I can eat literally as much salad as I want, as much chicken as I want, as much steak as I want. I can't have bread, pasta, potatoes, or sugar or rice. Yeah. That's it. It's as simple as that. It's as simple as that. But then you you wind up eating. All the shit, but all of a sudden, all, the steak all of a sudden, asparagus. it starts getting smaller. It's, and you're like, I don't want to eat. I, I was eating as much as my wife was eating because I was naturally full. And in the morning, I had bacon and eggs. I wasn't hungry, hungry. Now, I this morning I ate as soon like a half hour later. I wanted to fucking have a slice of pizza. But see, on Nutri System, you, you eat all day. Yeah. You eat these little yeah. meals little all, me- day, all long. day long. And but here's the and- thing. You have pasta. You have all that. But it's like their version of it, and it's got all sorts of stuff in it, so it actually fills you. Like, you don't want and it that again. That food, here's another thing with that food that I found out. Some of it's they really use, good. They use a lot of alcohol sugar, mm-hmm. okay, which is substitute for real sugar. They use a lot of sodium. And a lot of sodium. And they use all these chemicals to recreate this shit. And the gas you get, the farts you get, mm. we got that, like oh, cancer. Yeah, they're, they're, they're ridiculous. All that, all that, that shit. Problem. You're not supposed to put that shit in your body. Dude. You're supposed to. You're not supposed to eat chemicals. That is what's causing cancer. I'm telling you right now. You're mm-hmm. not supposed to have fucking sweet and low. You're not supposed to have equal. You're it's not supposed true. To have the, shit, the, the 20 years yeah. of you smoking pot. Shut up. No, <laughs> no he's. A, no I'm I agree with you both. <laughs> shut up. Fuck him. <laughs> but <laughs> but <laughs> me smoking pot will also give me cancer. Cigarettes will also give you cancer. Eating pussy will also give you cancer. Living in New York City and breathing in there will also. My friend is eating pussy. Stop. Don't even fucking go down. My friend Joe Yannetti, he, he just got cancer from eating pussy. What do you mean? And HPV. You know Joe Yannetti. I know Joe Yannetti has cancer. But He's got well, throat how cancer. Eat, how do you know it's from eating pussy? HPV. It's HPV. Can you it, get cancer she, from bl- giving you, head? What happens yeah. is, Blowing guys? Yeah, but not as much as a guy eating a pussy. Because it's a big, before, no it's a big. It's a big gash, okay? So Uh-oh. when... <laughs> so <laughs> you eat the pussy and it turns in... And it, it turns into uh, a tumor. That's what basically happened. It, it, it uh, I forget the fucking process of it, but he got, he got cancer, throat cancer from eating pussy. They're, they're sure of it. It's from HPV. Absolutely, the doctor told them that. Absolutely, and, and, and Michael Douglas, same thing. He got right. throat, he got throat cancer from eating Catherine Zeta Jones pussy. Oh, the maid. But I, fuck. I love eating pussy. Yeah, so but Catherine just make sure Zeta it doesn't. Jones have... is like a carrier monkey. Just, just don't. <laughs> Don't. Yeah, Joe, cancer can't get into your mouth. It's too small. Uh, <laughs> no, just, but didn't didn't Joe smoke for years too? It couldn't have been that. No, it was it was the it, it because was the they pussy. know it they know the what type of cancer it is, and it's from HPV. They well, so know when they did the uh, biopsy or whatever the fuck they call it. Biopsy. They know this type of and it's the best type of cancer to get, by the way. Right. Because they can cure it. They Rocks. blast it the fuck out, and you're good. Yeah, he said so, that. Though. Yeah. So God, I, you, you just said that like you're picking out a diamond. It's the best if you're gonna get. A cancer. Yeah, that, that's what, exactly what this they say. The well, that's what the doctor that said one. to him. He said, "He goes, if you're gonna get a cancer, this is the one you but want." I like that you did the hand, like you were sitting with a bunch of old women. And I have to be table. physical. I'm on camera. <laughs> it's the best kind. I of hand. Know but Bob, that- I thought it was crazy that you were doing no cheat day for like you literally went like five or six months without a cheat day, which I feel like that is the thing that's gonna drive you crazy. Mm. Well, it, because I was, I was, I had a goal, and I was. I was just killing it. And what happened after, I didn't know. It's, it, you forget about the psychological factor. It's not all ship the food or have portions or don't eat sugar. It's psychological. It's what you do, how you respond to anxiety. I had exactly something right. to go to. And when that thing was done, there was no goal left. There was nothing left for me to to achieve, so I need to... Can I tell you a trick? Book a vacation. I'm telling you right now, dude, this is actually, when I used to work in the fitness industry, this would be a thing when people would lose motivation, <laughs> we would tell them to fucking book a vacation because it gave them another thing to focus on. They're going to be on the beach without their shirt on. It's not actually bad I know. He's I, actually I, That's actually a good fucking fuck advice. Uh, both Especially you if you just bought a house Listen, and have a baby. My, <laughs> I hope you both go on a vacation. <laughs> Bob, my aunt called me yesterday and she, 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 wrote, she, she texted me. And she goes, I, and she's in Florida and she's by herself. She's waiting on my uncle to get there and she goes, I feel really lonely today. How did? How do you do it? And I was like, I, I usually fill the void with vodka and cookie dough. Right. Do you have any? Like, then she goes, I'm using rum. I'm like, yeah, that'll work. Yeah. You I don't, feel better I, and within a thing. couple hours. I can't do anything. I can't drink. I don't use drugs. I don't, I don't fuck. But I cookie don't, dough. I don't use, I can't do that. I can't do anything. There's nothing left. I am forced. I told my therapist yeah. today. I go, I know guys that come to you and I know some of them are on drugs, like that level them out. Some people get that 
option to right. take a pill and it levels the playing field. Do I like, do you have don't a hobby? have that. Do you like to draw? I got no. something for you. How about plants? Bobby, Can you're, you're, a, plant? no. you're, a, you're a man of your word, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Like, is that really something that, that you're that you're? I'm not manning? gonna give you my word right now. No, I'm not giving gonna... you my word. I'm not. <laughs> He'll go back. I wasn't gonna... <laughs> He'll go back on his word I, to you. This is what I did. I yeah. went. On, I went on my pack. My podcast. Yeah. And a very funny podcast. Brown Phillips show. Beige Phillips. Sh- shit. <laughs> that one's okay. Show. Brown Phillip rocks, though. Yeah. <laughs> That's the one. Beige Phillip. All we do is talk about shitting. Right, so yeah. the, uh, the uh, but I went on, I went on the air, and I just, uh, yeah, I made an uh, an announcement on the. Is podcast. it live? Uh, no, but I. Then it's not on the air. Well, I mean, you went on recording. Okay, I'm kidding. It's because we're trying to be funny. <laughs> you never know where the funny's gonna be. There was no laugh. Yes, here. go ahead. I got a laugh right now. No, after. No, no, that, <laughs> but, uh, it was a corner laugh. I went up. <laughs> so I made an announcement to all the fans that listened that I was gonna get into the best shape that I've ever been in. Yeah. And I'm because of the, the part of the, the the podcast is about being presenting yourself as the best person you can be. So eight people you're committing to. Yeah, whatever. I, uh, <laughs> his, his grandma. Yeah. <laughs> and, the, and the seven other people still, on your podcast. I still gave him my word. Here's and that's deal. all that matters. I understand that. And that does... I, that does and the pressure of that is I on me to... I have the pressure of this. You ready? Why do you have that scarf on it? Is that's it? the bomb bandana. The oh, joke I said oh. about you bomb. Oh, so okay. Bomb bandana. Bomb bandana. Yeah. Yeah. Bomb dana. Yeah. 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 So yeah. when you do a stinker, you get this. So oh, we know okay. who the last. <laughs> sh- everybody <laughs> knows watching the show that I just fucking laid oh, out a you. hot one. I was the last one. Hot one. Hot one. And a hot one means bad in okay. this case. Right. Right. So anyways. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Translated to Joe List. <laughs> so I understand what you're saying, but. I need to, the reason why I love this, this not this diet, this way of living, is because for me... It deals it's with a, the cravings. It doesn't deal with the It deals with the addiction. It's like, you know, I looked into OA too, Overeaters Anonymous. Uh-huh. It's no sugar, no flour. It's the same thing. It's, it's the addiction. I, I am one of those people that but can't do but, drugs. I can't drink alcohol is and that I can't different, is that different from the craving isn't the craving and the addiction the, the craving same thing? the craving comes from wanting to fill the hole like she talks about there's a hole in my stomach that I haven't learned look I, I look at my beautiful kid and I love him so much and it's it's such an amazing connection that you can't it's hard to fight but I can disconnect from my child Unless you can a drumstick <laughs> like a I'm sorry. Hang on one second. I get it. <laughs> uh, good for you, Lynn. There you go, Lynn. Your what first, are the team? Your first bomb bandana. <laughs> Wrap that around your neck. <laughs> Actually, put it in your mouth. I, uh, uh, oh. So, you know, but I can, I, you, it's hard to stay connected, especially for what we do. Yeah. For what we do, being fucked up helps us do it better, I believe. It helps us go on the road. It helps us. You know, be the selfish what, people what that we ex- need to be. In, in terms of what extent do you think that makes you better? I don't. I'm, I'm not. I think sure. that it, it doesn't. I, I don't think it makes you better. I think it helps with wh- you know wh- where we gotta be. You know what I mean? Like as far as this business, uh, especially at the beginning, being alone, going to clubs every single night, not getting on the depression, the the rejection, all the shit that happens to you in this business. We and then all right, I'm gonna go on the road for two weeks and I'm gonna live in a con- shitty con and I'll, I'll fucking do it. I don't give a shit. Right. Most people can't do that, but because we've learned to survive with drugs, alcohol, sex, food, and all this stuff that will give us the friends and family that we need or the good feelings. That's right. And then all of a sudden you have a woman in your life or you get love or you get a nice place and then you get you get sober and you all of a sudden the world starts opening up and it's like, oh shit, you have to replace those negative things with positive. You can't just leave those spaces empty. Mm-hmm. You have to replace them. And with food, which is one of the last ones for me, is the last one because I quit smoke and there's no more sex uh, with hookers or shit like that. That was always that secret shit that I could do. Right. I could go get a hand job and it would fill the hole. Or I could, you know, the food, I could go get a pizza and I could fill the hole. But I can't do that anymore. So I have to, you know, I found a different way to replace that. Which And, and I think I got to go to the gym. I, let me I think you, let I didn't go you, to the gym. That was one thing I didn't do. Let me ask you a question. If, if say for instance... You you say like the, the that secret shit like the hand job or hookers and stuff like that. Yeah. What if just hypothetically, what if yeah. your wife was okay with that? Would that still feel? What? I'm just saying no. hypothetical. What if would that still feel the whole 
or would it need to be something that was secretive Hang on in order second. for it to fill the hole? What's wrong? My son is 102 degrees. Okay, is he okay? All right, go check him out. That sucks. 102. Did you kiss him? <laughs> Thanks. Um, that was going to make fun. Um, <laughs> I didn't hear a word you said. What, what I was going to say was, <laughs> is it is it the fact that it yeah. it's secret shit that fills the hole? If if those things will, if you're so just hypothetically, it, does it have to be clandestine? Talking to the microphone, honey. Does it have to be See like a difference? clandestine? You, are, you, are your headphones on? Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, you got to talk to the mic, Bubba. I want to I want to get you. I didn't think you, you can want. pull that back if you want to lean back, Bo. Okay. I just I, call I you Boo. What, what, I, what am I, the brown field show? I think, uh, excuse me for interrupting, but I think, I think Dante's saying, like, does it have to be a clandestine thing? Like, if, if Don was in on it, Hang on one would second. it still be interesting? Google clandestine. <laughs> um, the thing is, <laughs> secret. <laughs> it, <laughs> thank you, Dante. You're welcome. No, I, it, do, it doesn't have to be a clandestine. I didn't know thing. what it was either. <laughs> Joe, did you know? No, I thought that was from, like, Braveheart. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Games of Thrones. No, but here's the thing is the hunt, you know, going on Craigslist when like I remember when, when sex was on Craigslist, going and finding like it was I used to love CSIing the ad. Like, okay, I know this ad is fake because the photo I saw this chick in 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 Boston and I saw her in Dallas. There's no there's no way she could be in, in the same week. So there's no way this is a lie or you know, this chick's real and her ad's real because of the way she phrased it. I know a, a real human being wrote this. This isn't a guy who's got a bunch of chick. I loved, and then going and maybe in meeting them and oh my God, it is real. She is, that is the chick. Oh fuck, this isn't the girl. I'm fucked and getting out of this situation or actually having to go through with some weird thing and so having that story. So it is the clandestine, right? It's, it's, it is the well, Okay, so Bobby, here's it's, an idea. No, it's, it's the hunt. It's the hunt of, it's the process. It's not, it's not the keeping it a secret. As much it is, is the process, it's not even actually coming when it was with sex. It was everything that led up to that. It's the gratification of right. them saying yes to you. You want to get the uh, yes, and that's and that's that's actually better than... No, no, no. Wait a second, let me just, say, let me just say something. I was going to get the yes, I'm paying. Okay, the oh, part of why I brought Chris was that he said something really <laughs> smart the other day. Like, because he's young and full of hope. He He's doing this thing where he tries something new every day. Like, why don't you do a thing like where you... Say, okay, I'm going to try a okay. new food. All right, Chris, just let me finish. Just, like, you're going to try a new food Chris. every no, day. because people don't know what you're talking about. Chris is, um, oh, hey. is uh, down. <laughs> Chris, actually, use Scopo's microphones. Sure. It's easier. Yeah. It's more Chris, likely I'm going to say something funny uh, or meaningful. Zing. Stand up Dang. right there. Chris, Chris, introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Chris. I, 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 <laughs> yeah, right? I, I'm a server at the Comedy <laughs> Cellar. All right, go sit back down. Very no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> He's great. He, Thank he, you. Yeah. All right. What? What? Ne <laughs> just so they know, Lynn brought Chris up here. Did you bring him for a reason, or why did you bring him? Just because I thought he would like it. We were That's just. That's a good question. I thought that uh, you know she talked to you, and you're like, hey, just bring this kid. No, no, so no, no, no. I saw no, I saw sure Bobby on the street. There. Why? Why did you? Why did you want him up here? Because uh, we were gonna hang out and talk later. Because he's been he does this whole thing about positive thinking and all this shit. And and what is it? And, just tell, think of it as a success coaching, basically. Yeah, basically. Now, how do you do that as a waiter? As a, well, that's <laughs> a damn good question. Isn't uh, that what that would be? The I'd be like, okay, now what do you do? I, all right, I got. I'm gonna meet you. Bandana. I can meet you at five. <laughs> But I gotta leave. <laughs> I have a, I have a, I have the, the waiter just well, said, me from my whole, shift, so now I can't meet you. I'm but, sorry. But that's said, why should, he's just starting. He doesn't have clients yet. You should be and more talk, positive. And, and I, uh, would you like lemon with your water? Uh, would you just stop for a minute? All right, listen. I got so two bad things for you. You're wrong about your wife, <laughs> and we're out of the chicken. <laughs> oh my god. Hello. Don't fucking stop funny. Shut your face. I know. So I was just gonna say, and now you know why I brought him. <laughs> no. Oh my god! Can I can I actually tell this real quick embarrassing story that happened? Oh my god! Oh, no. I thought is this it? Can I get one? Yes, <laughs> yes <laughs> but get the bandana ready. <laughs> uh, get <it>. So <laughs> yeah, tired. no, there's I'm no tired. funny punchline, but God, it's embarrassing. Oh I'm, my god! Yeah, I'm serving I'm at the restaurant. Them. These three uh, girls walk in. This one oh no, girl, this is awful. This one girl plops her bare foot on the table like she's showing her toes. It's oh, freaking disgusting. God. So, you know, I'm a sarcastic asshole. I'm like, ah, I got to wipe this table down twice. The best personality for a life coach. Yeah, right? <laughs> but wait, let him <laughs> so, tell the story. So I bring waters back to the table. She still has her foot on the table, so I'm even more of a dick. And I'm like, 
hey, why don't you take a drink of water with your foot? You know, and she's Whoa, she's shooting harsh. daggers at me. She's pissed. I'm like, who are you? She, is that a racist joke? Daggers? Is, I, is I don't, it's my uh, no, just expression. Go get to the, get to the so end. she's pissed Asian. off, but I'm even more pissed off because how rude is that? Mm. So I walk away at the bar. I'm looking at her, and I realize that this girl has no arms. Oh, she's she just had no arms this whole time, and I just berated this. Chick. I wish that was wow. Kelly Stuka. I didn't look at her gross arms. That's why her foot was on the table. <laughs> yeah, That's she awful. she was wearing a jacket that covered up. So her arms. she was eating with her feet, yeah. which is rude. I don't care if you have no <laughs> arms or not. Stay home with that shit, oh. or put a chopstick in your foot and let me know what's up. <laughs> or say to the waiter, be like, "Hey, I'm about to eat with my feet because I have no arms." That's what yeah. I said. You should say I said you should say, "I know," because yeah. he said that her coat, her sleeves were like wrapped yeah. around. And I said she should have said, "In case you didn't notice." But, but no who arms. is the person who has arms that's yeah. just doing that? Like, yeah, yeah. motherfucker. Was she, was she about to paint something? My yeah, I'm about style? to I'm about to eat fucking pho with my feet. <laughs> so I need a straw and a bigger spoon. <laughs> Were their feet dirty? I know they were pristine. They would really? have to be, I would hope. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Well, why didn't you get prosthetic arms? All right, mm -hmm. here's it. You can't just get the whole arm. <laughs> why not? What do you think? It's Robocop? It's 2040? <laughs> yeah, come on, I don't man. Know. You could get a thing. Now yeah, with a little bit of muscles. Hook. You're not going to get a hook. A hook. Why not hook? You, just oh, no have, hook. you can't get a hook on you your have, shoulder. You have fake arms just flailing a little to yeah. the left. Yeah, you'd be, you'd be hitting little kids in the head because you can't control them. I bet she can jerk off with, a, with her feet real well. Yeah. That would be here, a foot here, job, as they call it. That. <laughs> All right, so you're a life coach. But yeah. So you're not a... You're not sure, a well, I'm working up to it. He's, right, we he's, know. He's, <laughs> yeah. he's we're working not, on it. And you're, you're actually working at six tonight downstairs. <laughs> oh, God, no, he's not tonight. working on it. <laughs> anyway. No. Lynn, are you fucking him? You're so defensive over Whoa. him. No. Oh. What's your name? What's your name again? My name's Chris. Lynn's fucking Chris. Lynn's fucking Chris. Lynn's fucking Chris. Lynn's fucking Chris. Watch that throat. <laughs> <laughs> Chris oh got throat cancer. Chris <laughs> got throat oh, cancer. Come on. That's insensitive. <laughs> if I had to pick a throat cancer, though. Uh, wow. <laughs> okay. So, no, he, so Lynn, ab you're... Absolutely not. We're so, Lynn, you've never fucked Lynn? No. Okay. No. All right. I'm just double checking. Have you fucked Lynn's brother? <laughs> I don't have a brother. Right. Only child. He's trying to find out if you're if you're gay. Is what he's, he's not. Ah, uh, no. he's not gay. I don't no, think so. No, we'll listen, so Chris, you're 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 going to be a life coach, mm -hmm. and now what does that entail? What are you going? Uh, so well, it's, re it's really. Tell interesting. me, I come to you. you you're a whistle How old yeah, yeah, are you, yeah. Chris? <laughs> what I did? Twenty six. Twenty six. Uh -huh. Okay. If a twenty six year old ever gave me life advice, oh, you I fucking, fucking lose my he mind. Ha he has really some really really good advice. I'm trying to get to that. If you let me, Chris, I'm coming to you right now. You're my life coach. Sure. All right. You're not a waiter at the Olive Tree. You're a life coach. Okay. So and really I'm coming hateful. to you for help. What are you going to help? What do you, what's the first thing well, you're going to do? Well, Bobby, we make this all about you. It's got nothing to do with me. Okay. And it's really about what you want in life. Okay. You know, so yeah. I ask you, what's your goal in life? All what right, do you really my, want? All right. I want, I want to be happy and I want, I don't want to be, ang I don't want to have fear. I don't want to be fear of my career sure. or anxiety or money. You I just want to enjoy that. my life. Now, if we're being perfectly honest, Bobby, yeah, yes. you know, these are all well and good. But this is a feeling that absolutely everyone has. Right. Because everyone wants more life. That's the purpose of life. Life is growth. I mean, one could also argue. <laughs> <laughs> one could argue that, you know, life, the purpose of life is what you give it. But all. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm <laughs> kidding. I'm kidding. To it I'm, so kidding. I, I'm kidding. Uh, no, go it's ahead. good practice for no, me. No, go ahead. Go ahead. So everyone wants more. They want more money. They want more fame or success. They don't want to be scared. Pussy. They want more pussy. So mm -hmm. these are all too no, general. Really. I've read there's this one book called Think and Grow Rich, which was written 100 years ago. A man named Napoleon Hill basically uh, said. Napoleon? Napoleon yeah. Hill. Close. He tried uh, to take he, over he Africa. He killed a bunch of people. <laughs> okay. Well, he said that anyone that's ever accomplished anything of value knew exactly what they wanted. They had a very clear, distinct image of I'm what they sorry. wanted, and they wanted it so bad that they would just go out and get it. Yeah, they also call those fucking people narcissistic <laughs> fucking sociopaths, and no. I know a bunch of them. I agree. No, yeah, I agree you're with one them. of yeah. them. Yeah. You're one of them. Yeah. Yeah. Right, but it's all about, look. And you'd I, by step the way, on your kid's head to get famous. He That's would not. not. Yeah, he you'd step on my not. kid's head. Yeah, he would not. Yeah, that he would do, but not his own. 
<laughs> no, but I'm, I'm a look, dude. I've read all these self help books, mm-hmm. and I've read The Secret. All of I've them, fucking, literally every single one of them. Uh, you know how to win friends and influence people. Love it. All that mm-hmm. unbelievable. Lewis I read, read all the ones times. with pictures uh-huh. in them. Um, but no, the truth is, he's right about that. It's about de- clearly defining a goal. Not your goal can't be I want to be happy. You need mm-hmm. to say you need your happiness okay. to be <laughs> at least yours. <laughs> You need oh, your happiness sorry. to be a byproduct of a more of a tangible goal. It has to be like, tangible. That's thing. exactly. What I should be a Lewis is a better coach than Chris. Lewis is a better coach than Chris. Lewis is a better coach than Chris. So if I was to say, Bobby, like, what do you want in life? You want to be happy. Well, what does that mean tangibly for you? Well, you just used the word that Lewis used, and that's damn right. I did. You just stole Lewis. Lewis is an assistant coach. Stole from me. I listen. Okay, here's the deal. Chris, you're gonna say you want to lose weight? No, I don't want. I want to. I want to be. Ha- I don't want to be shredded. I just uh-huh. want to be. I don't want to have to go to other things to be happy when I when I'm, happiness is in front of me every sure. second of the day. Mm-hmm. But I don't choose to go with happiness. I choose to go with excitement or exhilaration. I I choose to go with something that's just fucking explodes rather than uh, something that's just there and and, and not you know it's just nice it's happy oh, vague you know ideas so it sounds like you're you're bored sometimes do you have a hard candy in your mouth I have a sore throat oh and oh. you're talking into my microphone um, are you sick. I think I'm getting a cold. She was eating some pussy before this. <laughs> I, uh, I'd love to see Lynn eat pussy. She'd fall asleep on it. <laughs> I, w- I, would, I, would not, I would not do that well. It, is, it, it grosses me out. The thought of it. it just you'd be, li- you'd be licking it and she'd be like, over there. I know. I know. <laughs> I'm oh getting God. there. Don't yell at me. I brought oh, fucking I brought hot dogs. At I two, brought- Kelly. At two. Chris, Chris, will you tag me in for a second, buddy? Yeah, yeah tag in. It. Bob, here, dude, you got, here's the thing. Uh, every answer you know everything you're saying right now dude you so, genuinely know the answer to exactly. you know listen you know, you know what the correct can i say something is. i this read I, I read the book it's a hundred uh florence scovel shin which was written a hundred years ago too you guys need to start re- reading more current books i'm gonna okay. tell you right now science is really dumb well because shit. you know why you read the books from a hundred years ago because back then it was it's, it's 96 pages it's about affirmations about uh, the what you do and what you say and what you think actually happens you can manifest with your brain and your reality what you want in your life which i do believe in in some way i believe that the earth and the universe and and god as people know it Dr. is Dr. earth the real the reality <laughs> the, 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 the reality i'm not sure he understood what we're talking about the rea- <laughs> the earth uh, thanks. <laughs> thanks for being my brother oh, Lewis, that shit was funny. That's my brother oh, thank shit. you earth. Dante, that's that's brother. earth he's beige the, philip not black <laughs> <laughs> The, the reality of it is that it is is kind of what I hate to agree with Lewis, but you know yeah. the answers. Yes, I know. And the bottom line with any of this is doing it. The difference yes. between success and not having success is doing what you know to do. Right. And when you decide that you're you you losing is not good enough, then you'll do it. Well, just do it. I read that on a Nike ad that's, 25 it is years Nike, ago. It is the Nike ad. No, just geez, do just it. Get the hell out of it. All right, so I I agree with you, and I agree. Like, I I woke up this morning, and I said to my wife, I go... I, I'm done again. Like when I quit smoking, I woke up. I, I go, I'm done. It's it's, and she was like, Yeah, but we were gonna. And I, I had five hundred dollars worth of cigarettes, and I was like, I'm done. I'm done. It's right now. I'm done. Were you and bootlegging I'm, cigarettes? Wait, wait. I would go when I would go to do gigs oh, in Carolina. the south. Yeah. Wait, but I would, she was I would like, we were gonna what? what? I don't, I don't we understand. Were, like, wait, you can't be done. We were gonna. We were sell gonna. Them. We were gonna. We were gonna. Um, <laughs> we, had, we had we had three cartons each or something like that. So we were gonna when those we're were done together. We were going to quit as we, you know, kind of when those were done then we were done. But I was like, I'm not waiting. I'm going to give those cigarettes away. I fucked up. I'm going to give them to whoever and uh, I'm going to quit. Oh, my God. I bet like you watching know, the his, Square his, Park, his, you were like the Pied Piper, all the homeless people you're throwing out I think it was, it was Bobby, Dan you know, Soda and is, Joe DeRosa made out on that deal. Bobby, you, I want to hear something Don't I, stutter. I say be, be all a, the all right, time. We'll say it without stuttering. Is Chris is watching. What, Earth. <laughs> it, it is just doing it. But when uh, you see people say, I'm working on this or I'm working on that, there's no such thing yeah. as working, working on it. It's either doing yes. or not doing. Yes, correct. So, Absolutely. And now, you may be doing something badly. Now, you're, now he's quoting Yoda. Yeah, you, yeah. You, may be, <laughs> you, you may be doing something <laughs> badly, but you're still... Pie, you're, in the face, right I will. 
<laughs> and if you do something and you fail, and the next day you pick up and you start again, yes. then you just and and through the repetition of doing things yes. over and over again, it just becomes easier. Well, there's no I, failure until you stop. The only I, time I'm you right. fail is the last time I you just, try. Right. Hey. I just I just had to fight not sticking my hand in Lynn's top shirt. Yeah, this when you lean over and your titty, oh I literally want to just put it in and just hold your shitty. And sh t titty. My shitty? Sorry, that's what that's When you did that, shitty. Robert, though, shitty you totally titties. missed shitty titty. You guys shitty. missed out on Joe List trying to say something wise, and then he had this grin on his face. It totally missed out. I knew I nailed it. Huh. No one was listening. But, All right, but, but here, people at home were listening. Here's the thing, though. So you're and you're Chris. you're going to talk to Chris. What is Chris doing for you? You know, if what you're saying to me, and I believe it, it's true. I already know the answers. I know what to do. I need to go back on what worked for me and what I need to today, which I've done, is I'm going to eat the way I've been eating for the last seven months. No sugar, no grains. Um, I, that's it. I'm done. Right. I'm back on that. It's going to suck for three weeks again, right. but I will sacrifice that because it made me feel good. But another thing I have to add to it is, which I didn't, is the, g is the, is the gym. <laughs> Okay, the reason why I'm laughing is Joe has his hand I'm up. Going to too because I'm, you just, I'm he just asked rambling. Me a Joe, go ahead. No, I'm no. sorry. Go ahead. Maybe Joe. your natural skepticism is what's keeping you from being as happy as you can. You're no, like this. What, what the fuck is this no, Chris going to do? No, what's keeping Maybe you should be like this. Oh, that's great. You found a guy who likes to help you. Maybe you I should change your attitude. What's Chris? Can, what, Chris, what are you going to tell me that I already I'm know? I'm Joe. No, I'm <laughs> I don't look Chris wow. in the eyes because he's magical. Yeah, I know, because you're afraid of him. You're very skeptical. Lynn, put those big hands Can down. Can I go? <laughs> Can I answer? Yeah, go ahead. Because you asked me what is Chris going to do. That hand First is... of all, what I respect. Besides bring you water. What I respected <laughs> about Chris <laughs> is that he's very proactive and that he, he basically said to me, I feel like you should be further along in your career than you are, which, you know, many people have Is noticed that, that I've I've somehow, you know, made it to the middle. You should have gotten him fired for that. I didn't say that at all. That's She's making those words you up. Made so. it that's to not the exactly middle. what he said, but we, we, we were That's what we all think, I know. That's right. That's what, yeah. And, um, but, but no, well, then what did you say exactly? No uh, idea. Well, well, okay. Yeah, Do you want fries okay, with that? Okay, because... No. <laughs> <laughs> we anyway, we were... My point on, is... I'll talk to you later. And, I'm in the wings. you know better than to deny what somebody's saying, but... I'll be, but right, I'll be right back. I'm going to give Robert that, a water. My point is, is that you a, you just asked me why I was talking yeah. to him. And, yeah, and, and now I don't know. Well, frankly. fuck no. you, because I'm, that was all worth it. I'm uh. saying that that basically what happened was that we, we talked, and I thought he had some good points, and I, he's new at doing this, and I said, this okay. is a group Lynn, of misfits that can Lynn, benefit from you. Lynn, i got to stop the show right now, real quick. I hate you right the now. The reason why I have to stop the show, I'm sorry, Lynn, I apologize. What you're saying is valid. Seriously, and, and and yeah, I know it is. Lewis Gomez just put reading glasses on. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck are this you doing? This is a very intellectual YKWD, and I feel like I really need to keep up with those glasses. Are, <laughs> were those for a squirrel? You look like <laughs> Manny <laughs> from Modern Family. He looks like. Okay. What are those? I don't know, I found them on the floor just Are they now. real? Are those real? Yeah, I can't see shit. Yeah, those are gnomes glasses. You gotta put those on the table. They probably fell off. So. <laughs> yeah. You're a fucking ass. Uh huh. I break them oh, break um, so, so bad. We should just break them. <laughs> well, Lynn, him. here's the deal, okay? You, you... Here's the deal. Do you believe that you should be further along in your career than you are? Um, I believe that I'm right where I should be. So why do, what, what does that mean? Why do you need to deal with somebody? Why do you need to better it? If you're actually where you should be, then why? what do you need to better what do you need to talk to Probably a life your coach, coach blocking for? here? No, I'm asking <laughs> not because I don't agree. I, I've never had a. Uh, no, never I had a conversation. Right? I, I, never don't, ha I don't have a life coach either, Bob. I mean, I, I just talked to Chris last week for the first time. He's not a life stuff. coach. He's a waiter. <laughs> no, he's he's not. Oh, he, come you're on. gonna be a life coach, right? All of the above. Well, he's no, no, that, not the waiting. Can... Hopefully soon. What do you, what do you, what the fuck are you gonna do? What are you? If I asked you what you are right now, what are you? Right now, for money, I'm working at the Comedy Cellar. What do you I'm want? I'm working toward... Damn it, let me finish. Oh! Yeah! Chris, 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 so, Chris, 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 It's so Chris, funny when a, human Chris, being, Chris. when a human being comes into this show. They're like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> <What> is this? <laughs> let me finish a sentence. You, you know, say so zen now. Jeez. I thought I wanted to be an actor, but it turns out I'm a musician at heart. So I produce music, and that's my goal in life, is to produce, uh, to make music at a music festival. What have, what have now, you to produced? Get there, 
I'll show you. I'm not going to play it now. No, uh, what, what do you produce? Like other bands or yourself? Uh, myself, both. A little okay. bit of both. Okay. And, um, you know, to do that, serving tables isn't going to get me the money where I want to go. I don't want to be a, a freaking starving band musician who's crashing on couches. Mm -hmm. I want to have money. Right. So in order to do that, I'm going to help other people become successful. And something I read once, uh, if you help enough people get what they yeah. want, you'll get what you want. Okay. And so, you know, that's that's basically my goal. Okay, so... Bobby, you help people a lot. Yeah. He berates people, I think, more than anything. I he help. Does both in the Bible, things. it says, for every blessing you give, you receive three. Oh. Well, I, I help a lot of people. That but I also 100 years old, too. I, I, see, pe <laughs> people, well, now you say I berate people. What do you mean by that? I was just, te well, for one, I was teasing. Oh, okay. No, well, I, I thought got you meant that. And then you're said, like, he said berate. But you don't do that anymore. <laughs> what do you mean? What do you mean? Uh, another just, one I, of his addictions that well, he quit. You know, <laughs> I didn't realize that your comedy was also just so raping. much of who you are. You're just so you're just so like ra da 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 da. I know when but I he got means here. means that as a compliment. Yeah, no, you're fucking hilarious. You're saying you kind of yell, but it's I'm, nonsense. I'm, ah! I know. I, <laughs> <laughs> it's meaningless. He's very he's perceptive. Volume. <laughs> just really no substance is what he's saying. <laughs> a lot of loud volume. <laughs> That's right. not what he's saying. <laughs> He uh -huh. says you're the Artie Fuqua of white comics. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, that hurt. Whoa. That's too far. Ouch. That's just too far. That was uncalled for. Everything was, was funny <laughs> up until then. All right? It's no sense of getting personal. Go ahead, Chris. And the I, reason, I'm not, the reason why, I swear to God, I'm not looking at you, not because I'm, I just, Should my I neck. not look at you? My neck. I, Doesn't work it, anymore. My neck hurts. <laughs> I swear to God. I'm, I'm listening. I was like, I'm listening. shutting me out? What's no, no, no. On? I'm listening. I'm listening. So, okay. what, what do you want me to talk about? What were you, what was, why would you say that? Why did you say that? Uh, it, it's just part of your person. Well, when I got here, I've never been to the studio. Right. It, it's it's freaking lovely for one. Right. But I got here, I sat down, and uh, what's Christian or what? <laughs> Christian. Oh, it's Chris. <laughs> Jesus. Go well, I met somebody oh, earlier today. Oh, Christian. Gopo oh. is venomous. What is, Chris, get the mic. Talking to the mic, dummy. He came in. He was like, I'm, I'm Chris too. He goes, Oh, same name. Okay, that's easy. And he fucking forgets. Dude, he just he alpha mailed you just now. Oh, yeah. He wants to, he, he did. wants that scene. He wants to produce the show. I just figured it all out. <laughs> <laughs> He's not even a life coach. He wants to be. The are you gonna Are you gonna show up late? Don't you fucking alpha mail me. I'll go right back at you, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Christian. life coach. Should have called him Christ. Christian. Should have said Chris Scopo is the most venomous comedian <laughs> I've ever I'm met. I'm sorry, life. Chris. I've been, I brought you into a monkey cage. No, this is great. I this is venomous. great. You didn't really like think a, this out at it's all. All fangs, but no venom. There's no poison. Right. <laughs> let him. <laughs> let him. <laughs> he was telling me like we were talking about. Did he want to do comedy? What did he want to do? And when the minute. You called me to book me. I was like, you know what? I'm going to bring Chris. And I did ask Chris if you could do this. He knew you were coming. Oh, okay. Bobby did not. I didn't see Bob, but he knew. Listen, so I want uh, get let's get to the point. So you come up here and you see Christian. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right, 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 right. Uh, this is about you. This yes. is about you. Well, I got here and you're just like, damn it, why didn't you get this done? Why isn't this? But you were like, I don't know. You were very direct and assertive and funny at the same time. So that's... Whatever word I use, I didn't say raped. I said um, berate. 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 Uh, berate. Joe confused berate. me. Yeah, no, I know. Um, <laughs> and, I mean, it's just like how your comedy is. is. Well, yeah, here's he's the thing. Bob's he's a berate. He's sleepy. Bob, when he gets a compliment, he gets the sweetest little face. I like, think he's awesome. Like I really think he's bait. one of the no, funniest no, no. comics. He I weeds I, through it to see if it's I a compliment. Re I really try <laughs> with... Like it, it hurts him to see Stop if it's a compliment. Crying. He has I, to I, see I, if you're being mean or complimentary. No, no, no. I'm not crying. I, what I'm, I'm, I had something in my eye. I, and I'm not turning that way because I really did hurt my neck. I'm looking straight ahead, so I'm not being weird. Dude, but I, if he makes eye contact with you, he's going to hit you. I'm going to tell you right <laughs> now, dude. That's why he's not looking. He knows himself. I'm, I'm a, I, first of all, I'm a, I love... The all, the people, <laughs> all the people at the cellar, especially the waiters and waitresses, we're all a family. So I love, you know, I'm a very big fan of everybody. What Even do you mean especially with the comics, <laughs> especially the well, comics, uh, comics too. We're all in, a, we're all in this together. I feel that yeah. way when Definitely. you work at a comedy club. We're all in it together. I'm trying to fucking make these people laugh. You're keeping them quiet. You're making sure they're happy with the drinks. We're, this is big. Even the door guy, everybody, we're all in it together. So, as far as I'm concerned, you know, uh, you know, when I see people like you, when I meet. Uh, waiters, which you, I've met a ton of you guys. Mm -hmm. Sure, uh, I love when you guys have you know you do things other than because you know some of these guys are in a band downstairs that are rocking. I remember I went around the corner and I go into the Village Underground. They're all the w waiters. The w what's his name? And yeah. uh, they were Aaron, on stage. Aaron fucking, Aaron and them. Yeah, they were killing it. I was yeah. like, get the fuck out of here. Yeah. So I love that when that happens. But you should uh, have them up here more uh, often. No, it's not going to happen. <laughs> Aaron <laughs> terrifies they're, they're, me. By the way, who? Aaron. It's Why? Very intimidating. Who? The waiter, Aaron. Why? Yeah, he's big. One time I heard him, he was like, 
Did you fucking light him? What the fuck's he doing? And I was like, ah! It scared me. Really? You get Joe, that. you're not that small. You're not like a tiny... You're a tall guy. Yeah, you're oh, a big I could boy, beat Joe. him up. For sure. <laughs> yeah. Joe, Joe gets he's afraid of his own shadow. <laughs> no, it's just like that Joe goes, he's big. Like you're talking about a guy who has a fucking uh, his web series called The Ultimate Warrior, yeah. which is based on him. Oh, this, ba- this couch is the most terrifying thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> I, mean, I don't know who I'm more afraid of. <laughs> but I just now now is is. Uh, we got off topic a little bit. I want to know: Is he going to help you in your life, uh, the, or is he just a positive? I doubt it. Is he a positive person? <laughs> Look at no, Jesus Christ! <laughs> let me finish. I I have people in my life that are just positive people that I yeah. talk to. Is that just him, or is, is he no going to help you? No. Like, am, am I going to hire him and be his client? Probably yes. not. Oh but boy. Are no. is, is he my uh, is, is he my friend? And do I value him already? Right. Yeah. Definitely, and and do you want to kiss him? No, I mean she wants to kiss me a little no, bit. No, just a little no, bit. No. Does she? You think a little bit? Yeah. Really? That's fine. I want to kiss you. Well, I don't oh, want to kiss you. My neck hurts. It's okay. I don't want to kiss anyone in the room. So nobody. No, nobody. If you had Not even pick, Christian. Hang on one second. Hang on one second. <laughs> one second. If you had to pick somebody in this room, who would it be? Kelly. Yeah. No, and then who's what? second? Australian. I've been who's with one two? Australian. Wait, I want to make it two. What would make you yeah. say that I would want to kiss you? Oh. Oh. I, I, some of the text messages. I'm just like, uh, oh. uh call. Oh. 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 Hi, Lynn. A few times she was like so cutie bad. patootie. Lynn. She, she called me cutie you, a few times. Ooh, cutie because patootie. You, she wants to uh, suck you said something I'm being cute. No, I, that's fun. I call people darling and honey. Well, Lynn, no, because he was Lynn gets rhyming over social everything you sent to me. That's hilarious. You're flirting with her. You, you're, you cutie started p- it. You started it. And then no, you know, no, no, no. threw her under no. the bus. Oh. I'm Come so on. sorry if no, I made okay. you feel that way. Cutie patootie. She wants to toss my salad. Oh my God! I love Chris, Lynn. Yeah. You've tried. To, you're trying to molest this no, motherfucker. No, I'm not. And my little boyfriend guy is watching this. No, right no, no. Now. You have a boyfriend? I do. How old California. is he? How old is he? Is he want? What's his name? He's 25. 25. Your boyfriend's 25. Yeah. <laughs> I love Lynn. I just want to be. Good girl. Good is your boyfriend run, watching right now? Right now. Okay. No. Run. No. <laughs> run. Run as fast as you can to the tallest mountain and hide. And he's run. not my boyfriend. He's my boyfriend guy. We, yeah, we've been uh, hanging out for a year. Well, boyfriend guy, that's the guy that she's going to fuck while you're not I'm around. absolutely <laughs> not. You're going to eat his pussy and get throat cancer. <laughs> Listen, we're going to no. take a break real quick. Uh, we're going to do some ads, and uh, everybody's going to Abs? go down. Ads. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, no. You're an asshole. <laughs> we're gonna, uh, we'll come right back that's with, uh, so with uh, everybody on the show. I hope you guys are enjoying You guys are listening live. We will uh, be back in around 10 minutes, so just stay tuned, uh, and we'll see you then. <laughs> All right, we're coming back in. Um, hang on. Marco from the Jersey Jerks is listening in. What? I said, is your baby all right? Yeah. And you said Marco from Jersey Jerks is listening in. Yeah. Because he's a sociopath and he cares about his... My ego. It's not a Boston thing. You say socio. I was saying that for 30 years. It's socio. Socio. Is that a, is that a regional thing or are we both just dummies? Socio. Sociopath. Yeah, that's right. I was saying socio, and I think Bobby just said socio. You're dummies. We're just, are we just dumb? Or is the whole region dumb? Um, I don't know. I love guys from Massachusetts. Oh, we're wonderful people. I like that kind of retarded, sexy. Right, guys, retarded. Fucking retarded kid. <laughs> Fucking wicked. I was telling you. Maybe you want to make out with wicked. me. All right, we're going right. right now. Give me one. Give me uh, three that's seconds. That's I want to kiss. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Shut the fuck up for three seconds. One, one Mississippi. two. <laughs> this is Robert Kelly's YKWD podcast. And we're back. Ooh, very anticlimactic sweeper. <laughs> All right, we're back. Uh, I want to go, I want to start doing plugs uh, uh, right in the middle, too, because we, you know, people listening live. I um, want to make sure you guys hear. Uh, Lynn, what do you got going on? Real quick. This weekend. You're going to read it? I have to, because I have yeah. to get it right. This isn't going to be out this right. weekend. There's nothing more annoying than hard candy coming through a microphone. I'm not feeling good, Bob. I'm May 2nd. 
<laughs> um, in Glenside, Pe- Glenside, Pennsylvania, yeah. with Jenny McCarthy, right at the uh, Keswick Theater, yeah, yeah, and then um, May third, Saturday, we're at the Paramount in Huntington with Jenny McCarthy, the Dirty Sexy Funny Tour. Who's on the show with you? It's, it's, this it's, it's not just you. It's you no, and it's me, Jenny, Tammy Pescatelli. Love Tammy Pescatelli. Love Tammy Pescatelli. She's one of the fucking good Tiffany ones. Tiffany Haddish, Paula She's the Bell. Beast. Paula Bell's nuts. Yeah, and right? Tiffany good Haddish. Too. Tiffany right? Haddish, hilarious, okay. and um and Justine Barino, Bar- yeah. Barino. Okay. Gorgeous, beautiful, Wasn't funny. Feinstein on that show? Um, she's been on some of them. Yeah. Yeah, she's on all, some. All female show. Yep, all female, and Fine and Jenny scene. Jenny hosts it and do, does these sketches, and it's just hilarious. It's really fun. You do live sketches? No, she has them. She's has them taped. Don, and oh, okay. Donnie Wahlberg's in a lot of them. I love I love the Wahlbergs. And they're but they're, it's it's just so wonderful and fun, and it's it's kind of like a female Brat Pack kind of thing. It's really good. Okay, great. It's like the the Rat Pack, except you get to fuck them. <laughs> yeah, exactly. The fuckable rap pack. The fuckable rap pack. All right, what do you got, Dante? Besides your uh, podcast, I got a uh, bass Philip uh, on dot com. You can get it on, or you can get it on iTunes. I got a, uh, I got a couple enunciate, episodes. Enunciate, enunciate. I have a couple of episodes on uh, on uh, the Power series coming out in June on on uh, Stars. Okay, playing a hitman on that. Um, Great. I, I, you always play you you always play some, some type killer. of killer. Yeah, some killer. Now, I always see you on TV <laughs> or a movie where you walk in and you're the last motherfucker they have to get through. Yeah, they always get through. Right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you got a weak knee or I, some I, shit. <laughs> <laughs> just like get him enough credit. When I Dante get just credits, wants to get, he wants to be famous to enough me. to not die in a movie. Yeah, that's it. That's they it. love Dante because he can just show up with his own face and <laughs> outfit and my own clothes. Yeah, they, be like, do you have? A, yeah, I got a, yeah, I, I, I got, got a bone whatever necklace. Need, yeah, and a bone whatever you need, I got it. There do you, you have go. a belt made out of bullets? <laughs> yes, yeah. absolutely. Do you have a, 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 a wallet made of ears? I got that. I actually have it on me right now. You want to see? We'll just wear that. Just wear that. I just come in. Luis Gomez, where are you this weekend? Luis J. Gomez is going. To be at, <laughs> in New Haven, Connecticut, at Joker's Wild with Chris Scappa, dude, and fucking Oni Press from the Hammer Fisting Podcast. Um, a lot of YKWD fans hitting me up already, so thank you for that, guys. So come out, talk shit. It's gonna be rowdy. It's gonna be crazy. I love that. So if you guys know my I, act, I look at. I'm not gonna promote that. What? I'm not gonna promote being rowdy. No, and don't crazy. be rowdy and crazy. But, but it's going to be. Here's the thing. I, I don't promote that at comedy shows. I promote that you, as YKWD fans... Punch somebody in the face who heckles me. You fucking listen, and you, you laugh, and you have a good time. You can be rowdy as he's coming out, but then listen. I don't, don't, you don't want that, because you're not good enough right now, Lewis... You love That's that true. now because it gives you this, an extra this, 10, 15 true, minutes. Yeah. Not good. True, You're not, you know what I mean? When you, get, when you really got an hour to do and you go out and they start screaming shit and throw, uh, you're going to be like, guys, no, listen, listen, I just got to get through this because I got to make a I'm tape just for saying, Comedy from Central. my experience there before, yeah. it was pretty fucking rowdy. Well, it's on the corner of a street in New Haven. <laughs> but, I, I, but I had a blast. I'm, look, I know, no, look, I'm not encouraging people to be yeah, a you were. That's what you are. That's what you're doing. Fine. You're Fine. You think Scopo is going to be able to handle He's going to crack and he's going to get all. Angry and red oh, I'll be I like fine. that I'll Lewis's fine. first headlining week ever. He brings his own middle at MC. First of all, it's not my first headlining weekend ever. Oh, it's Thank a fucking much, joke. Joe. Would you let me have my joke? <laughs> you know, Joe. It's a little pretentious <laughs> that you're bringing your own show. Why is it pretentious that I bring my own show? It's a little silly. I bring my own openers. If it's an hour and a half away, why not? All right, you win. You're right. I can see if it was in Texas. I'm just mad because I didn't. All right. I was gonna say I don't think it's silly. <laughs> That's not not. Yeah, and when an he says didn't, he means headline. <laughs> <laughs> I <laughs> opened for Nick. I headlined. <laughs> I headlined. Pretty good too. Hey, you headlined on fucking Monday. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was a Friday, Saturday, and there was 24 uh, people there, and I did 41 <laughs> minutes. <laughs> <laughs> what club? What club? Uh, Joker's Scopo, Wild. First of all, Scopo, oh, you don't handle final. hecklers correctly. You're on my show, and you fucking panicked. I didn't, yeah, I mean, it wasn't the greatest. He goes, but, I didn't, uh, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking bad. I'm gonna was, give Scopo I wasn't, I wasn't used to a theater kind of crowd. Kelly would have cried and ran off stage if she was there, okay? Scopo handled it for, dude, it was bananas. That. that shit was. See how mean he is to me, Lynn? We're talking about see my. See how he says that? See how he undercuts me like that? Like, Kelly Well, it's true. Blah, blah, blah. Kelly, you were not on it's my just... side earlier, so <laughs> you're on your own. Lynn doesn't care if you have a vagina. Lynn doesn't care if you have a vagina. Why do you think you're here? You're here to be on my side. How could you? Obviously Lynn not. Said you were great for 46 when he was giving you shit. I was like, kill him. No, kill Lynn's him. here to be funny, and that is not your side. <laughs> ah, 
on. Jesus two Christ. for two. Oh, boy. Uh, can I get my plugs in? What am I going to do for a plug over here? Well, I wasn't done with my plug. The whole I, one, I, I wasn't done. You plug. are done? I'm what did you say to me before? And I was like, two, Kelly. Nothing. Like, no, yes. All right, I'm down. getting hungry. What's your plug? I, uh, I'm also I'm starting a monthly show at Stand Up New York Labs. Can I be on actually, Yeah, 100%, dude. Yeah, in All fact, right, you're on the first one already. How many people go to that? Like 9,000? 9 billion. 9 billion people already have tickets. Stand Up New York Labs. I want to do it. Dude, you can do it too. It's called The Dark Comedy Show. It's Dark Comedy in the Dark. We it's it's a play on the dark yeah. restaurants in New York City. It's going to be complete pitch blackness. You can only make people laugh with your words. I'm not going in the dark with Lewis. <laughs> it's really just a ploy to rape. <laughs> All right, so you have your own show, Vinny. Vinny. Fa- Vinny. Um, well, hold, I didn't finish no, plugging ahead, the date. Plug right. it. It's, Hurry up! It's going to be pitch black you darkness. Fucking asshole. It's a one hour show. Dante <laughs> Nero's on it. Joe Liss is on it. What is it? It's May May fifteenth. It's a <laughs> Thursday night, it? eight o'clock. No, you just booked it now. Oh, I don't know. All right, you're done. May 15th, Thursday night, send me your call. It's free. There's no cover. There's oh, no drink. Oh, those are great shows. It's a great yeah. plug. That's a great, yeah. It's, it's free. free and no lights. Why don't we yeah. do it at your house? Yeah. Yeah. Why, yeah, why don't you just do it in the fucking. Yeah, it's, called, it's, it's a little club called <laughs> Nana's House. <laughs> yeah, it's called the Closed Starbucks. <laughs> it's going to be. It, you don't think that's funny? <laughs> closet. You don't yeah. think that's a cool idea? Pitch blackness? No, it's dumb. You can just no. use your words. I, I want to you know be unbooked. Sucks. Here's it. <laughs> I'm unbooking myself. I didn't know it was he, a stupid He's got the keys to a 7 Eleven, and those are. Here's, the, here's the problem. Here's the problem. Here's the problem with comedy clubs. They start to panic when they got to pay the big rent, and they start. To, what, what are we gonna do? Let's do theme shows. Theme shows stink. Okay, you know what works? Comedy. This is really counterproductive to my plug of my show. Having a fucking <laughs> comedy show with funny people. You're right, that's but dude, that's and you do stand- that consistently over and over. And it works. And it works. That's, that's it. Not what but Lewis has is, found though. Lewis has found a way that you don't even have to pay the electric bill. He's cutting <laughs> costs. No, I'm telling you. <laughs> explain that the, the Stand Up New York still has the comedy club downstairs. Yeah, Stand Up New York is a regular comedy explain club, which is that. amazing. Uh, explain that. Upstairs they have an alternative black box theater that it's specifically for experimental different shows. Right. And I think thought this was a really like just an interesting explain that don't just say i have a free show that's in the dark at stand up it sounds like a (laughs) stupid show sounds like a crack house like a homeless crack house we're gonna rape the new nobody wants closet yeah (laughs) explain that that it's almost like a it's a different type of. i would have but you shit all over the show before i even got the words out (laughs) but now it sounds better when you say it's in a black box theater above a comedy club It's not like so that way. If it stinks, you can go downstairs to the regular comedy club and, watch and real see an comedy. awesome Wait show. A and actually, be able to yeah. see the and show. Pay, Wait. pay money for something that's worth money. Blur, <laughs> you just said to Bob, you were like, "Oh, you just shat on the show that I'm trying to like promote and stuff, right?" Right. You've done that to me like about my. Kelly, you do a talent so show. Nobody's times. in. Shut up. He does it to me all Kelly, the time. Shut you. Here's what Kelly does. Kelly produces I'm a Saturday see. night, 9 o'clock show that people aren't allowed to do jokes on. They can juggle. They can dance. They can do any talent. Did, but did just, you, did Kelly, you, hold on. That's him shitting on my show. Oh, yeah. I, that is shitting on her show. Yeah. Yeah. It is. That's shitting on show. show that's been running for three years. You, are you about to do? In, sit down. You're not in the fucking camera. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Sit down and put the mic back in the fucking thing. It actually sounds really interesting. Let me tell you something. Hey, so much fun. Yeah, turn him off. Yeah. Put the mic back in. Well, you're not the only Giannis yeah. Papas takes the mic out Sorry. of the stand. Sorry, I, I love <laughs> Giannis influence. Yeah. You ever stand up like that again and start screaming Kelly, with nothing difference. at the end of it? There was nothing at the oh, end. Yeah. Let me let me say, Kelly. Here's the difference. <laughs> you are desperate for stage time. Hang on one second. You are putting a Saturday night show. Listen, on. listen. Did you call it a talent show? <laughs> it is a talent show. That's what it is. <laughs> no. What is it? Talent show. It's a show, show. where you have to. <laughs> <laughs> All right, mean? Kelly. What is it? What is it, Kelly? It's okay, Kelly. Tell me. Look at me. Pretend they're not. I'll look you. at you. I'll look at you. Oh, you guys. I like it. Joe's scared of this couch. I mean, this couch is cool. No, I, uh, it's That's why show. Joe's scared. I remember when, yeah, I first came, when I first came here, Kelly was all spirited. You just broke her. She's, <laughs> she's, 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 she's great. Like, no, she's great. <laughs> she's fine. I'm great. I'm Kelly, tell me what, it, what the show. Like, what, what do you do on the show? I'll Kelly, you. stop. Let me let yeah. her tell me. There you go. I love it. I love her. I love Lynn. Every week. She just shit on you. How do you love her? No, we're back on track. No, I didn't No, because Lynn can shut Gomez up in a second. You You're a spotless <laughs> Okay. You really, white women just scare the shit out of you because of your family. Listen, <laughs> Louis, <laughs> what your dad's dying words, be afraid of white women with big tits. <laughs> Louis, be very scared. Why don't you call the ambulance I'm like, for Louis, me? shut up. <laughs> <laughs> so go on, Callie, tell so me. So it's a show where you, you can only... 
That's from working in the fucking at malls your whole life and having girls like him, her, you're being your boss at the Gap. That's why you're so scared. Robert, all right, that was long winded. Give me the bandana, would you? No, God, please. You're not gonna. (laughs) You you don't intimidate me. Shut your face. Give me the bandana. (laughs) Shut your face and untie that. That was a good argument. You know what? That's all fine. And then later, when you when you open up that refrigerator and see those little hot dogs in there, I can't eat them. I'm off. No shit. You just gave me a pep talk to not eat shitty, and then you're gonna tell me to eat the hot dogs. Those are going to the kids. Okay. Now, Kelly, what hey. is it you do on your on your talent? Uh, it's a talent, <laughs> a talent show? show. No, it's not. It's a, a variety show. show? What does you do on your little sketch show? What is a variety? Kelly. Mom and Dad. Um, I. Uh, it's once a month, mm. and um, it's co- only comics can do it, but they can't do their stand up. They have to do something else that challenges them as long as it's funny. So oh. we have people doing like showing their like videos they do. Uh, you know, like sketches of written characters, uh, have fucking people not TED juggles? Talks. Have people not so. done Random Town? Because you told me, me when she tried to you. Oh, let me we tell you. Are proud of you. When she tried to book me on this show, <laughs> Kelly, she you said, had no right? talent, so you couldn't be on it. First of all, <laughs> I'm a man of many talents. You well, know that. Name one. I could juggle. You can. Yeah. So, so she How hasn't had juggling. You're auditioning for her, you <laughs> big dope. <laughs> <laughs> Don't use a magic eight ball. You're gonna break it. For someone who doesn't like her show, he's now auditioning for Wait, it. he's yeah. going to juggle. Hang on. Wait, 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 take the cans off. Wait, I might have a ball in my purse. Here we go. One, two, three, go. Oh, shit. You stink. <laughs> you can juggle as good as I can. No, I watched the fucking thing against the... Oh, wow. shit. Oh, Lou. That's really sexy. <laughs> now pick all that shit back up. I, I love that you think it's sexy. Yeah. I mean, a chimp can do that, but well, that's cool. <laughs> he, he is one. We, ch- no we shaved him juggle. down. No, and let me say this. The point that I was making, my show, it, 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 the influence is, you go to these, hold on, you go to these dark restaurants and you're the, it's complete pitch blackness and the idea is it enhances your other senses when you eat the food. <laughs> what I'm doing with what this show. What do you say show, dark restaurant? What do you mean? Like KFC? No. <laughs> <laughs> Roy Rogers. <laughs> Listen, Lovely. first of all, Lovely. nothing's going to enhance your fucking shit jokes, okay? <laughs> it's just going to be you telling fucking queer jokes in the dark. It's, even, it's just scarier. It's just <laughs> okay? Yeah, it just stinks. But, uh, the, it's no, just, uh, the fact is, but you can senses, fall asleep. People can go to sleep now. You can put your uh, head down the way you wanted to. Here, yeah. Here's how you applaud at Lewis's show. <laughs> <laughs> Stick. Don't push the mic away. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Come on, Lewis. Come on, Lewis. Just Come Kelly, on. You Kelly, tell us about your it. show. Come on. No, I did. No. Hang on. We got so you you, you got a show at the Stand Up Labs. Stand Up Labs. It's ma- a new way to do comedy. <laughs> if you don't like the old way, <laughs> which is funny, the, the funny way. Yeah. If you don't like the funny way, <laughs> if you like funny comedy, go downstairs. If you I don't like, like that, go upstairs to and the bring, dark room and bring a pillow. Yeah. Bring a pillow <laughs> and <laughs> enhances your other senses. Yeah. So because no one can see anything, it means Pure, you're going to be funny. You're insomnia. Yeah. Oh and it's God. and guess uh, you know it's worth something because it's free. You get to <laughs> walk. Anybody. Gets to go up for hey. nothing. There's no <laughs> why. Why was shushing? Uh, the condor is in the building. The condor is in the building. The condor is in the building. The point I make, Kelly, you don't have any stage time available to you. I do. I can kind of go out of the box if I want. You, the point we were we were giving out shit. of the black you, box yeah, but you, because yeah. on a Saturday night, hey, African American vagina. Please. If you're gonna put together a show <laughs> love black on a Saturday box. night, it's just kind of weird. <laughs> Comics work on Saturday nights, so why would you put together a why? show yeah, on Saturday? Once a month. All right, so Joe, what do you have? No, I don't even want to have this argument anymore. It's so a stupid. toy police car now. <laughs> Yay! What do you have? <laughs> uh, Jetson's noise. Jetson's noise. Thank <laughs> you. Uh, just my podcast Tuesdays with stories. It's it's picking up a lot of heat. We got yeah. three hundred thousand listeners. Yeah, three hundred thousand. Uh, <laughs> I want to kiss Joe List after yes. this. Yes, he should. He's really good. Off air, You're cover his kisser. little mouth. Now, <laughs> yeah. I like, a bit of a I'll give you a hundred bucks if you if you get it right on the lips the first shot. Cover his whole mouth. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna miss and hit his fucking cheek. <laughs> Anyways, I have a very successful podcast. Yeah, and, very uh, successful. I appreciate it. Uh, <laughs> it's a great show, and the great and Mark Norman was on the show a couple oh, weeks ago, God. and he I can't tell you how many people yeah. loved Mark. He fucking he killed it, and uh, him and Joe, and of course everybody. Joe's one of everybody's favorite. They both do a show, so make sure you go check out that show. Even though it's not on our network, it's on the way more successful. Millions, millions of people listen to that podcast. Bob, can we start a parenting podcast between all the Rycast parents? Uh, what? Can we start a... Uh, That's a no, Lou. 
What does that mean? I want to start a uh, podcast called uh, Real Ass Dadcast. Yeah. You also want to stop this podcast, evidently. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. That was a fucking... That was like a nine-foot speed bump. It, it was like a big poo right <laughs> in the middle. Of, right in the middle of it. You don't think it's a good idea? I, I don't know. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I don't, I don't even understand you. you. It's that just was like, about what? parenting. A podcast about parenting. Oh. About yeah, but here's here, here's the thing. It would be a two week podcast. That's that's all we know. We know no. We know. Pick him up. Google Gaga. A B C nope. D. Hey, F-G. Lewis knows a lot about being a dad. Like when your baby has a hundred and two temperature, you do a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> He's fine. He's fine. If it gets He's up fine. to one hundred and five, then we're in trouble. You send out one text and you sit back down. This poor girl's up. Put him in a bucket of ice. <laughs> She's Just calling him, stressing out. This poor him girl's in Harlem long. right now in a lead-based apartment. She can't leave the apartment because there's black people outside. Uh. This girl, all she had to do was not fucking date a Puerto Rican, and she'd be in a way better place in life. What if we put him in the fridge for a couple of minutes? Yeah. I can't my, do impressions. My mom used to put me, she used to go to 7-Eleven and get Slurpees and put my feet in them. <laughs> all right. <laughs> I already got it. Hey. Throw another wow. knot on that thing. Um, okay, so Joe, you got your podcast. Yeah, Kelly, buddy. what do you have? Um, uh, I have my Twitter and my website, and I yeah. you know, put a lot of stuff on there. La, la, la. Uh, can we do your <laughs> Kelly? Can we do your show? Can I do your show? And of course, you Dante can do it anytime. Really? It's a, it's always sold out. It's always like a, it's so much fun. What the fuck is Dante gonna do other I'm gonna than ride stand my up? unicycle? Dante can dance. No. Uh, Dante uh, can strip. There. You have a unicycle? Yes, I do. Of course you, you do. do. It's got to be funny. Can That's because somebody fucking... stole the rest of the bike up where you live. <laughs> M, you keep wow, not. really? I liked it. I liked it. That was a <laughs> fucking a great way. racist <laughs> joke. Because <laughs> somebody stole the rest that turned Can I recite poetry? Oh. It's got to be funny. What is it called? That doesn't sound funny. No, like, it's slam, po- what's like po- slam poetry. Jeff Ross does it. Yeah. I have yeah. funny slam poems. Yeah. All right. What, do you have one now? No, I do. No, it's called I called Bitch You Don't Know Me. What is it? Can you do it right now? Do it right no, now. I, don't want I want to hear do it. it. Do Come it. on. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Put the hat on and do it. I don't remember all Who gives a it. shit? It doesn't you. matter. I'll Let's do it. Do you need like a beat or do you need a... Uh, she she broke my heart. Guys, ready? I'm going to let you... No, I'm not doing it. I don't remember Just do a little bit of it. A little bit. Did you just get your headphones caught in your wristband? Your Wonder Woman wristband? No, I don't want to talk about it. Wonder no. Woman. What? Did you just have a mood swing? What happened to you? <laughs> yeah, just it got caught in the thing. No, I, 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 can, I can't Talk into the microphone, I you can't nut. remember all of it. So so what? And it'd be the first time I did it. I'm, I'm nervous. I'm very, I'm, I really want to hear I some hear poetry. Too. Chris, How do about this? you should do it? I have, I, I'll Next tell you this. Next time I come on, Hang I'll on one it. second. Yeah, ask. My, I found a poem in my, when I was unpacking my office, I found a poem I wrote at a very crazy time in my life. And I will call my wife right now and have her read it over the air. If you, I if just you don't remember all of the bits. Doesn't matter. Me. If I had it with me, I would, I would read it to you. Can but you read remember. us a little bit of it? Just I, a I little just, bit. I'm, I'm trying Two to remember. It. I'm it's forgetting right. it. No, it, it, it's. I'll read. I'll have my wife read my poem, which is very vulnerable, by the way. No, it's just like slam poetry. It's, it's I love that. Down. You can just make it up. No, That's what about? slam poetry is. You just go off the top of your head, Lynn. Come on. No, I don't. I don't think that's actually what slam poetry is. So just, just slam. Can you Dante. read a little bit of it? No. What's the name of it? By it's Cody called Conic. Bitch You Don't Know Me. And what's it about? About some bitch that thinks she knows me. Why does she know you? She's just it's just stupid. But it, Is it's this from, about I, Kelly? No, it's from <laughs> when I was watching I was watching um Real Housewives of Atlanta and I what? came up with this book. <laughs> and you don't know any of it. From the heart. She knows all of she it. Kn- she knows it, right, Chris? She knows something. Yeah, she does. You know what, Chris? You don't know me. <laughs> <laughs> is that the new poem? All he knows is you want to make out with him. That's all. If I wanted to make out with you, you you'd have been have, made out you with. You would have had your dick oh. so. Oh. Oh. Let's get over. Come over, Chris. Get over, Mike. He make was out, in right. my apartment with me. Lynn, Alone. Listen. If you, I wanted, if I'd wanted to, Lynn, I'd have you, made a pass. Clear your throat. Dick would have been sucked already. <laughs> What'd you say? Clear your throat. <laughs> throat it's not you you milk <laughs> I'm not saying you're not adorable. You know I think Chris. you're adorable and wonderful <laughs> and sweet. <laughs> but if, uh, wanna... There's nothing That's you could have done. The funniest thing that Lewis has ever said. <laughs> no, how you doing? What's going on? How you feeling today? <laughs> I, we found glasses. Are these your glasses right here? No. They're reading glasses. We don't know who's. It might they be are. from um, the Glory Hole podcast. All right, we'll put them back in the thing. Somebody with tiny eyes. Uh, Lewis's <laughs> baby has a fever of 102. Should he be home? Of course. 
That's bad. <laughs> <laughs> of course. <That's> <laughs> yeah. You really, you really here while your baby's sick like that? No, he. It was. It, I got the text when I was here. He so was go home. He was sick and he was fine this morning. But he, he, not but he got worse. Yeah. He's been <laughs> fine once. What am, I gonna, what am I gonna do at home? She's monitoring his uh, temperature. She's gonna bring him to the hospital if he gets any higher. I'm gonna meet oh her my, there. To the hospital. What yeah. is wrong with you? Like my you dad. Know. Would you leave? I, w- I would be out of here. Yeah, but uh, would you really? Why? I'd be, I'd be, because I wouldn't be able to focus on the podcast knowing my newborn baby was but sick like this that. This podcast means more to him than the baby, though. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, also, you think Robert can't handle it? Have you that. heard this podcast? Babies Nobody can focus on this podcast. Everyone's talking over each other. It's Babies crazy. Babies come and go, but the podcast. <laughs> well, now, are you, having, you're having another baby, right? You know something I don't? <laughs> I'm, I want, why, why do you look pregnant? Huh? Are you having another baby? No. Oh my God. No, Noam just got so uh, nervous. He just got so <laughs> nervous. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. He's fucking he you. He really just stopped right in his tracks. I want to let you know that. Is that a serious question or are you just. Yeah, well, you want another baby, right? I want another baby. Right. Uh, Have you been trying? Uh, uh, no. Yeah. <laughs> That's just the nicest <laughs> way to ask if you've been busting in your chick. <laughs> <laughs> Are you splashing off? <laughs> are you, no, are you I, asked, splashing? I asked permission, and so far it, the answer has been. So no, you haven't okay. left any in. I have, but so far, it's according to. So her. you've been leaving it in. Yeah, but but. Um, That's how my mother told me to have a baby. She goes, "I want you to just put it in, and when it's time, just let go <laughs> and enjoy." That's an awesome. I mom. go, "Did you just teach me how to come in my wife?" <laughs> so you're trying to have a baby? No, I'm not. She 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 apparently <laughs> she knows when I can leave it in and when I can't. That's not really. I mean, that's yeah. yes, you can, but that doesn't work all the time. Yeah, you should leave it in every time, just the hell of it. What's the point of not leaving it in? He's not you're... Puerto Rican. <laughs> she is. She is. <laughs> no, I'm just saying. No, if the thing is, like, she knows her timing and when she's ovulating, and she's saying right. now you can come in. Right, maybe we because... we lost Lynn. Her, her focus. <laughs> she, she, heard the, she heard the term yeah. ovulating. She was like, no, no we're, I can't we're, do we're, this. It's <laughs> too many <laughs> memories. Just that v- <laughs> vague record. <laughs> Write this down. An hour and thirty five minutes is Lynn's fucking attention span, <laughs> and then she goes into a bag and looks for fucking games. Uh, did you know Chris? Of course I know him. You you hired him, correct? Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Do you know he's going to be a life coach? A life coach? Do you know that he's that's, ripping people off? What? It. That's what he's. Go- that's what he wants to be. That's what he's aspiring to be. What? What I, credentials do you have ex- to be a life coach? Uh, Listen, no. What the fuck? I, you don't just I, come out of the gate with that. God, the, Gnome's a real that's, ass dude. Yeah, I love Gnome. That's a valid question. You're 26. What credentials? What makes you a valid? A what life credentials coach? do you he have studies. to own the place? He's, on, he's Jewish. I own the place. I own it. No, he's 100 percent right. And and you know that was brought to my attention <laughs> yesterday. And it's true. I've been studying this material for six years. It's just every single book on success, on consciousness, right. on on spirituality. And have have you ever read? Years, have you it, read a book on that? On success or or anything of spirituality? Do you, do, uh, success, yeah. yes. Spirituality, no. Really? No, I don't. So believe you don't it. believe in spirituality? No, no. Do you believe in like? Uh, go ahead, Chris. Go ahead. You well, want to say something? Uh, you guys are like this backup could be a singers. really long talk. Let me. I know, right? Uh, see, he was. I got a big SD card. So I, I never knew, you know, his parents or, or what he was born into. But he was already born into this oh. successful paradigm. Ooh. No, no I, I mean, this is a very. No one was given success. <laughs> no, no, no one was given success. Like, like, silver spoon. No, silver no, spoon was... in your mouth. Oh. Hey, Ricky Schroeder, how you doing? <laughs> hey, you no, better... no, I'm good. Ask Robert if he knows what paradigm means. <laughs> <laughs> It's an agency. <laughs> That's we my already, agency. We've already used like okay, three stop. words that, Ro- that Robert has to look up. I mean, if <laughs> he, he does have the bandana Robert on right now. I've, I've, had, I've had the bandana on for a half hour. <laughs> Chris, if you only get one shift next week, you know why. Yeah, all right. <laughs> no, what uh, you're saying, explain yourself. Well, what I mean what is you're saying that, is truthful. All right, well, we have a conscious mind and our subconscious right. mind. And a super born. conscious uh, that's that's Freudian, <laughs> and we can get into that in whatever. We'll get into that next week. Go ahead. Uh, so basically, when we're born, we only have a subconscious mind. We don't have the conscious. Well, no, Noam to also think. had a lot of money handed to him. So uh, yeah, sure, but that's he was that's got nothing to do with it. Oh, now, if he good. wasn't, if okay, if he wasn't taught the principles of how to maintain the success, then he would have lost it a long time ago. Mm. So it's already it's, it's habitual. Is, that's true. It's habitual. Yeah. So your children right now, who are at a very very young age, yeah. everything that you're thinking, it's being programmed into that child. What you, whether you believe it or not, he's thinking yeah, of the like, environment. Like I have a fever and I'm alone. <laughs> blowing a tranny, <laughs> is being blo- is blowing a tranny and pork loin is being thrown I need to into be independent. Don't waste because <laughs> gotta say it in the mic, time? dummy. Can we give uh, time? It didn't land. <laughs> so what I'm trying to say is that uh, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Between the ages of one through three, they're only subconscious. Right. And, um, you know, your environment programs wait, all wait, these thoughts into again? you. 
You're only subconscious. You don't Kelly, have a conscious mind. Let him know him sit here for a sec. Mm-hmm. I want I want because I want him to respond. No, I don't know if that's true. I don't know if that's true either. Yeah, oh, I, I don't, don't think absolutely. that's true. What? So Put the headphones on, Noam, so in you between can hear. The, so wait, b- b- before one, well, there's, okay. no, there's no subconscious at all? All right, so what I'm trying to say yes. is that at birth, we Remember don't... Remember Yoda, we, don't try, just say ah, it. Ah, good point. <clears throat> Thanks, Lynn. Um, so we develop a conscious right, mind yeah, as mine. we grow up. When we're born, we don't have the ability to think. Right. So the thoughts that we eventually develop are programmed into us by our parents, our friends, our, our, our environment. And so you came into a successful family. I'm not saying it was given to you, but I, what I'm saying is that, you know, uh, whatever the beliefs are of your parents and, and your environment, they created this this uh, successful way of being, of acting. I think you're thinking of That's the word not conscience. necessarily so. Hold on, it's I don't think you're thinking of a conscious mind. You're thinking mm-hmm. of a conscience because children don't, don't have a conscience at me until they're like three or four years old. It's it's the same thing. A like conscience, you. it's your thinking mind. <laughs> and Dante just fucking don't wave snapped your hand at, you. at me. Like Listen, that. what is are, you're, obviously you're doing this for free? What is the value Jesus of what we're Christ. receiving right now? Like, how much would I have to pay you to hear exactly what you're saying now? Six. As for a now, for now, nothing. I know, but but like, and sure, Lewis's what, show what's, is what's free his too. On, what's his worth on the street? Because like? he's a student right now, so he's he's most right most now. most people that are right? life coaches have, sure. have reached a certain level of success, and then mm-hmm. because they've reached a certain level, are of you success, kidding me? They take that the lessons that they learned from that's being successful. That's where that's yes, actually backwards is. thinking. You're thinking that's that backwards. they were successful, so that makes them be able to teach Great. success. <laughs> I've, I've spoken to life coaches, uh, and you know, um, Dante. In other words, you're a bitch. Hiring them and a lot of <laughs> <Is that laughs> yeah, what are you gonna do about it, Dante? They've, they've See, okay, the the truth is that, or if you think of it this way, like if you if you look at Noam and you go, he's happy yeah. because he's successful. It's the exact opposite. That's not he's, what I'm saying. He's successful I'm saying, because he's happy. Yeah, but he's not happy at all. It and might not be. It might I've, 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 us. I've <laughs> never, I've never <laughs> seen Noam. It's like Artie never, Pukwa's Facebook page. Wait, wait, oh, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. I've never seen <laughs> Noam happy. When have you ever seen Noam walk in with a smile? It's true. Maybe when I didn't use the, the right word. When he's with the babies. I've when seen him smile plenty happy, of times. happy around his kids. Noam he's smiles un- at me all the he, time. Because he, yeah. you fucking Noam's, look at you. You have to. Wait, so you don't well, attack him for not fuck, giving him spots. He would. I would. <laughs> it, Noam smiles at me every time I speak to Noam. He goes, hey, how you doing? He smiles at me. We all smile at you because we don't want to get killed. Noam is not worried about me killing him. He is. We talked about it. <laughs> no, nope. Noam is happy around his kids. Oh my God, I'm is he happy? I'm genuinely so happy to see Noam when I see Noam. He's a good dude. Do you see the wrinkle and between his two eyes? That's not from being happy. That's from going, f- walking in, being okay, angry. Well, first of all, you mistake happiness and uh, frustration, st- stress. No, yeah. I, I have a lot of responsibilities right. yeah. sure. that weigh me down. Right. Like what? Uh, like that, what? That's not depression. Like what? Like uh, running the, running the, the like what you don't know the yes. tree running the no I want you to tell the people I, okay. first of all I know listen guys I know the but kitchen. the people listening don't know so I'm trying to give them the information my so they know who you. lives with me yeah it, 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 I know what the, your stresses are the question are. is this would you be happy if you didn't have those things or would you just self fulfillingly create more things to do no but by nature I'm, i was always a happy guy always like yeah. growing up and like in school and college i was always were you a- happier when you were, had less responsibility when you just had the wah and yes. you were playing so yes. you were happier yeah. when you just had the one club and you were playing music and getting pussy and yeah playing music making a lot less money right you know i want to speak to that for just yeah. a second no i heard you you were in a podcast when i first started about a year ago uh you were interviewing with a woman and she said do you consider yourself as uh, the owner of a comedy club who likes music or a musician who owns a comedy club and you answered that way right so music is chris your thing. first problem so, the first problem and i can see noam literally wants to strangle you no I was i'm kidding to listen I'm to my kidding. podcast no what i'm saying <laughs> is your first problem you have to you have to work on your tone you have the tone <laughs> of the guy say, who okay. invented the first uh, robot you know what i mean like you no, have to you have to you, you, have, you, have, to, you have to be more um you i'm listening yeah okay, you, absolutely. You, you, you 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 talk very like like someone made you i mean in order to be a a a, 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 a life coach. coach has to be like noam you have to be when like you, gravitas. You have to be yes. likable. Look that up. Yeah. Gravitas. No, I think gravitas that paradigm. We'll make no, you you're very likable. Okay. You're right. very well, likable. Thanks for clearing that I up. I think you're likable. Clandestine was the other one that confused them. And thanks for being able to turn your head and look at me when you said that, too. Because yeah, you were like, oh, I can't turn to the right. I think he yeah. sounds, no, my I neck think really, Chris I sounds, uh, what you guys are responding to, he sounds a little bit like a cult leader. No. Or like a it's a, like cunty, a, it's a cunty 60s, tone. Like a sixties, <laughs> no. like a hippie. He's a, no, he's no. he's he sounds I, like you know he the sounds guy sounds like a kid who read a book. You know the guy who reads the book? You ever yes. get a book on uh, when the guy he sounds like the guy who read the book. Right. 
Yeah. Audio. You gotta, yeah, audio book. So you got to you gotta sure. work on your tone a little bit okay. and be more who you are. You are you honestly life coaching the life coach? Yeah. Uh, so I'm we're learning. all Absolutely. doing it. What would you say to Sterling right now? Rod Sterling? Is that his name? Sterling. I, I don't know who that is. Wow, dude, no. I can't trust a life coach that is so yeah. disconnected with the media. Donald <laughs> Sterling, he just said about black people, he hates them. He didn't say he hated black people. He never said he hated black people. He basically said he hated black people. That's what you get from Queens, an Italian from Queens. The Clippers guy. Well, he they had a make point. him feel uh, sexually inadequate when, yeah. <laughs> when he's I mean, eight years old. We all feel like if my wife if my wife was getting pictures with Magic Johnson, I'd be like, oh, fuck me, I'm out. You know, she's fucking doing some weird shit. But you know what? That's what you get for being an old rich guy hanging out with a hot young girl yeah. who's looking for money. Those are the consequences. She might fuck somebody else younger than you. So there you go. And then he got... I, I can't believe she recorded the phone call, though. That's fucking crazy. Yeah, by the way, I, I was saying... We're all in fucking trouble. If you we're all in calls. trouble. We're all in trouble. If that starts happening, because guess what? Black people are racist, too. Yeah, okay. It's pretty soon they're gonna be recording this. I don't this. know why you looked at me for that. Because you're black. <laughs> yeah, listen, you're beige. Listen, as, <laughs> it's all fine as long as you don't get caught. When you get caught is when you got to deal with the fact that you got caught. So shut but your fucking mouth. It's not mouth. illegal to be That's racist. That's the bottom line. No, but it, I mean, you look, get caught at it. Are you racist, you're gonna Chris? You're going to fucking blab little, some, as much some as racist else. shit. It's just Joe, absurd. Did you what just he say said, it's not illegal to be racist? What he said is yeah, fucking absurd, and he got caught being absurd. It's right. fucking stupid. Well, he got, people, he got caught being insecure about dating a hot, younger chick than okay. him. And he, that's what he kept saying to her. He kept trying. What he kept trying to do is manipulate her psychologically with these. These. He's trying to get her to go down the road she, he needed her to be down, sure. so he could feel like a man. When he knows, look, I'm an old fuck that really can't get it up anymore, and I don't want you going banging black dudes, hot Puerto Rican, whoever the fuck. I don't, it do, Bob, is. I don't know if well, I necessarily agree with that because the thing is, do. hold on. He, here's the thing. Do. His, uh, he, don't don't put it out there for every, Now all my no, white Bobby. friends are calling me up, going, what, "Is she banging Max?" Uh, Oh, fuck me. I don't think he cares if she actually... Look, she dude, said twice... It, he said twice in the conversation. Let me say, let me say this. She's not, she's me a second. not fucking other people. Here's the thing, though. Nobody but thinks But he said, I don't give a shit if you do. Just don't let everybody know that I'm nothing. I own, I'm i supposed to be the motherfucker to my friends, and now you're putting it out there like I'm, I ain't shit. That's what he said. I don't give a shit if you fuck him. Just don't put it out there for the world to see. That's what he's saying. Especially when he's black. Yeah, exactly. Man. Because exactly. all no, just to be clear. That's what he's saying. I, listen, I don't, I don't think that's the most racist thing I've ever heard. I, I wouldn't take from that that the guy wants blacks on the back of the bus, or he, or doesn't want them moving in next to me. He, he might feel that way. Yeah. I listen. If everybody in my life who I know, people I'm fond of, disappeared right now based on the fact that they had said something equally bad in their this whole lives. podcast will be gone uh, three, three quarters of people i know it people say things, especially when they're yearning for a girl yeah. and and uh and maybe and maybe it's, it's, it it comes and maybe it. feel intimidated it by the comes, fact that this black guy looks like it comes out of a sense of when insecurity. they've been to court it comes yeah. out of a sense of insecurity as opposed to hate all is it, it comes out of a sense of insecurity he's but an insecure guy he's a very got, but you got caught so you gotta fucking but it, take but it. But here's take a scare, it, you he, idiot. You got caught. You gotta take it. You, and he should just own up. You know, so look, I fucked up. I said stuff heated, and I didn't mean it. But he got caught. But it sucks. Listen, the I way said he black, got I meant caught. To say AIDS. Back, Bite listen, the 30, thirty years ago, you had to be in the CIA to record somebody's conversation but that it good. It ain't thirty and now years ago. But we're done. It ain't thirty years actually, ago. Actually, just, you could always record phone conversations. Just not like that. Bite the no, pillow and it, take it like a jailhouse bitch. Exactly. Your father was Radio Shack. You built by a radio. Paula Dean got busted. She's got to take it. Nobody, yeah, but, nobody but, thinks. Well, that, you, nobody what, thinks that she wasn't. Is, wasn't racist or she didn't have these racist ideas. I work, I have a, I have a day job and I work. We know. Oh, okay, we know. We've seen your comedy. What does, and you should keep it. What does take it mean? Thank take God. It, does take it mean that uh, you should get the natural consequences where sponsors and fans and players don't want to, or does take it mean that the NBA, based basically a thought crime, he hasn't even actually done anything. Right? Right. He, just, he just expressed what he was thinking. Yeah. Now he, he has to, he's, Banned from for life from the NBA, I and he loses his team. I don't as opposed think, to let me no, give it, let me give so. another as opposed to maybe like Jesse Jackson or Al Sharpton who mm. made their Ooh. lives supposedly uh. hating bigotry, Ooh. who've said much worse things, Ooh. and they have a table okay. at the Democratic Ooh. convention. Ooh. Right? Let me, let, me, let me say this for the record. Oh shit! It, or, Al, or, 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 or Alec Baldwin <laughs> calling up his kid uh, and, and and berating him or 
calling somebody a fag or what or or if he had slapped his, his wife his, would he even be his, losing his team like his, is, great, his, is that is ra- this is elevated to be much worse and that's than anything else other than killing who, somebody who is what he said who, elevated who else it? loses a billion dollar let team me ask you or something. you know 50 let me million dollar it's team. the clippers it's a hundred thousand 75 <laughs> 75 million a guy a guy's ha- gonna lose a 75 million dollar asset yeah Based on something he thinks his, that his, he said in private in his personal to, to his life, most intimate let companion. Me say, let me yep. say that here's what's crazy, crazy about it. Here's what's crazy. crazy about this. Somehow, whenever there's a racist conversation, Al Sharpton comes into it. Black people never elevated this. Black people don't decide to pull. To, don't decide to pull advertisement. In. Black people are not even upset about this. We're pissed, oh, this dude's racist. It's an old white dude who's racist. We don't give a fuck. We assume old old rich dudes are wait, that's, racist. That's because you're racist. We we you assume it so. That's because, what racism is, right? That's what bigotry. Making so, assumption. No, maybe, stop maybe. it. Black people can't afford advertising. <laughs> and, and the reality is, nobody is gonna. Black people are not gonna take this guy to task. You know who's gonna take him to task? White, white people. people are gonna take He's right him about to that. task. Yeah. So. Mm-hmm. What's That's funny true. is I don't understand how the anger is. What does that have to do with Al Sharpton or anything? It has to do with with the the guilt, the white guilt. Doctor, that I white think he's pointing have. out the hypocrisy that that the media doesn't go after Al Sharpton for saying ridiculous outlandish sure shit. They go after Whereas, him, and, they and go the go white media, do the white media? They don't no, do. But they they sit back, too, they, they sit in the pocket, and they go, "Oh shit, we don't want to fuck with him listen, because we know listen. this guy has been classified now as beyond the listen, pale of polite company." And eighty percent of people in prison are black and for for small crimes, and there's no and. And, and and black neighborhoods don't get education and don't get funding, so it all it all fucking balance, balances out in the long term of it. So let's not talk about the fact that somebody j- you you can't just take pick one part of it. Lynn, that hurry up you can't and blow take him. one part of it and and <laughs> say this is the issue and not deal with the whole issue of it. Black people are not outraged by this guy. When I when I speak to people, black people, and they go, "Yo, you heard about the racist shit to do?" Yeah, uh, figures. You go with figures. It's a rich white dude. That's but a, I'll tell you something. That's, a good, that's a good point, though. A lot more white people are outraged. I watched CNN last night, and the 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 anger, the anger, not only with just him, the black stuff, the male misogynistic stuff. They were mad because he was. This lady was infuriated that he was putting women down. Like it was oh the what he said about and she kept bringing it up like what he said about women and how it was like holy shit there white people are going I haven't seen one black person and, and if somebody's, angry if somebody's black as much as angry, these white if people if somebody's are. black and they're angry it's because they're making money off the fact that they're oh, no, so the, t- the team was outrights. angry they wore the black they were, they were angry they were angry but I don't blame them for being angry but I saw be. if, if you yeah. watch the news the black people that are coming on the news. Um, and talking about it, very calm and very, they're, they're not, but the white people are outraged. Like, holy shit. It's all white guilt. It, it's mm. really that, that type of, that, ty- that level of racism is just, it's really gotten to the point where it's stupid. It's really ridiculously ignorant and stupid when you're, when you're looking right, at somebody gonna... based on their color and you're going, this is really your issue because of my, because of my color. I'm going to pause dumb. this for one second. Uh, Lynn has to go. Make sure you follow Lynn on Twitter. What's your Twitter? It's at Funny Lynn. At Funny Lynn on Twitter. Thanks for coming back. Can, Lynn, can I ask Dante one question? Sure, I, want, sure. I want you to give me a God's honest sure, answer sure. now. Do you think that the average black guy fucks any better or worse than the average Jewish guy? The truth. What? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I do. Better. Yeah. So that's what he's saying. That's what he's saying. That's what made him insecure. He thinks that I the average black guy no, is gonna is gonna fuck her, I fuck that girl. I don't much. think. I'm not but even if, outraged. So you have, so you have the same opinion as him. I'm not. Oh, I'm not outraged by. But it. Am, I, am I making my right? I'm like like. You know, is it, is this the most racist thing a guy can feel? That, you know, yeah, but here's the thing though. It was in private. It's like this girl. He got caught. He got caught. Absolutely. But first of all, fuck you for dating one of those money hunger hungry bitches. That's what this you gold want. digger. You you're, dated you're right. this fucking you're bitch, right. and you got what you deserve. Thank God for those girls. Bro. No, no, no. <laughs> fuck. Look at man. Here's the thing. That's not the girl you make your wife. That's the girl you fuck. That's the girl that you fuck, and you're careful. You say no phones, and you you have a security. You don't make that girl, and then you got caught out there. Could, this- you, could you advise me on that kind of thing as a life coach? <laughs> how, to get, how to do that kind of thing? That would be awesome. I made the money for that. Look, you, know, you got it's, caught. It's almost like saying, do you think the average black guy, six foot three, plays basketball better than the average Jewish? It's the same kind yes. of thing. It's, it's, yes. It's, it's yes. Okay. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. <laughs> it's saying, yes. My, my point is that my, my so, point so, is. So, so, so let's, well, now, let's make this clear now. So you think you fuck better than me? Oh, yes, yeah, absolutely. Definitely, yes. I definitely fuck better than Everybody me. Everybody raise your hand. And you're a musician. Yes. Which I believe, I believe you fuck good. 
because you're a musician. Gnome, no, Gnome's and got you've been, moves. I bet you anything. I guarantee you, Gnome has got moves. But I was a stripper I for know 11 his years. He buries Gnome. his face was, in the neck. His I was glasses a little, fog I was a little up. indifferent until I heard that he was a stripper for a few I was years. A I was a stripper for 11 years. You were a musician. No, Gnome would so, surprise you. Gnome's a musician. No, I, Gnome, I, I, you know I, I, just said he's a, I just said he's a musician, so I know him. And not so because I fuck better than Joe? Yeah. Okay. What? Yeah. <laughs> Are you kidding? <laughs> All right. I'm gonna I'm throw kids before the show's and over. Gnome, and, Gnome yeah. and before Juanita, Gnome had some crazy right. women believe, too. Which I means believe women Gnome were fucks addicted better to than Gnome. Everybody oh, yeah. in here, other than me. Nice. But listen well, to me. Nice. Women have, some women have been addicted to Gnome, and you don't get like that unless someone's good at it. Because Gnome's a fucking musician. That's why. I was a musician, and I'm Puerto Rican, and I got a really hot chick. It's Louis. I think it's Louis. Guys, guys, guys. Drums. Hey, hey. You gotta stop talking over each other. It's um, nobody can why hear. Why is nobody talking about Listen. what a cunt this girl is? This yes, fucking yes. twenty. Lynn, she, hold on. No, not. No. <laughs> <laughs> you think she's a Hang on. No, stop. This, shut I, the fuck up, Lynn. Go. You gotta go. Let Lynn go. Let me, she's gotta go walk a dog. I don't want. I don't want her to. I want it to get. But I mean, dude, look. You thank th you, Lynn, for coming on. Thank you. I appreciate it. We'll see you. Bad. We'll see you uh -huh. soon. Love you. Thank you, Bubba. <laughs> Watch out. Can you help Lynn so she doesn't hurt? Okay. Hurt her hip. I don't want her to take the whole <laughs> studio with her. Lynn was on her phone again. I threw my hat at her, and she just started looking at the hat. She's like a newborn. She's like, whatever, you, whatever you put in front of her. Look at this. No conscience. All right, go ahead. Here we go. Oh, Lynn, no, thank why, you so much. I don't understand why nobody's talking about what a cunt this girl is. She's making a conscious decision yep. to Kelly, be with go sit on the couch. Yeah. She's making a conscious decision to be with an old racist guy. Yeah, but he hold on. He was raised in the forties. Yep. He like typically people that were raised in the forties from rich white affluent families, they kind of have some bigoted views. It's just it's a it's a product of the environment. It's a product of the times. I'm not excusing it. A lot of people did change those thoughts. Yeah, but, but today in 2000, thing, time out, dude. It's in 2000, from the subconscious. In 2014, <laughs> she's dating an 80 year old racist guy, and she's fucking catfishing. But here's the thing, though. You're Puerto Rican, so what you say, we don't really care. <laughs> you understand? No, I'm say what he said. No, oh, we'll care. I wasn't long. listening. <laughs> <laughs> Did I lose some? What happened? His was crazy. You, no, no, you look, he's, you're right. I, I, you, look he's right. At, you look at younger kids now, younger kids, music, <laughs> music, fashion. It's There's a fusion of, of rock music, rap music. Right. It's all, Did you just all combine the word music and fashion and say fusion? That's good. The the uh, there's a there's a fusion of all of of both cultures and younger kids don't they don't care they don't care about culture they don't care about color I'm sorry they just don't care. No, it's, she's a bitch though. Like you didn't know anything about Mel Gibson. He's an old dude who who grew up in in races where things were more segregated, and more racist. You yeah, expect but she's that? She's a bitch. That doesn't of change. Of course, all women are bitches. That doesn't no. go. That what I was saying. You but, need to hear. but he deserves it. He deserves it. That's what you get. Hold on, well done. Oh, no, 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 Deserve yeah. what, Kelly? He had a private conversation. Do you know how much worse ranted shit I've said in this past week? No, than no, this no. mother Time out. Then this motherfucker said he deserves to have his fucking franchise taken away from him over some thoughts to a person that he trusted and loved. Get the fuck out of here. Hang what does on. he deserve? Wait, wait, wait. The thing is, though, like, when you're an 81-year-old. Kelly, can you say this topless? You get fucked. No. <laughs> when you... When you when you're an 81 year old gross dude and you get how old is she 22 i don't care if he's gross or not wait, that wait, means wait. nothing to the conversation let, let her let her fucking say what she's gonna say all right it's when you're an ridiculous. 80 when you're an 81 year old guy and you're dating some 20 odd year old fucking hot ass chick what do you expect's gonna happen how in your brain could you never imagine she's not gonna use something because she's always used what she looks like to get what she wanted. Can I, can I say How would you not think she was gonna do that? Okay. Because there are, there, are, He's, go ahead, go there are eight year old billionaires. Stop it. There are eight year old billionaires that are dating twenty year old hot gorgeous models right now all over the place, and they are not trying to fuck those guys because these twenty year old girls are trying to be with this guy until they fucking die, and then they get all their money. Okay, this guy wasn't worried that she was gonna go and try to fucking. I mean, can I say something real quick? This is a sport. This is almost like a job for these women. Yeah, for sure. I mean, it's, it, it, it's there's their, a, but it's this is job. a job. But there's it's a it's their job to go and meet players, owners, rich men, black or white, doesn't matter. Sure. To go out there and that's their money. That's how they're gonna survive is through these people. Am I correct? Yes. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. So here's this guy. <laughs> Norms, who, know but that. he knows this. He knows that he hooked up with this girl because but he's also he falling in love with her. I believe that when he said I'm a 
falling in love with her. I am in it's love kinda, with her. If you listen to the conversation, it's kind of sad. It's really it's, sad. It's really sad when you hear this guy trying to manipulate her into saying, I love you, I'm sorry, I'll never do... All he wanted to hear was, I love you, I'll never do it again, you are the man, because he used to be the man. Yeah. He probably used to be the motherfucker, and there's nothing worse in life than not being the motherfucker and anymore. You'll say some fucked yeah, up you shit wanna, when you have it, that realization. If you, you want to be the man, you can't be with a 20-year-old uh, twenty year old life coach. You can't... You, you, <laughs> You can <laughs> <laughs> look at he. You look at he fucked well, up. Well, he, he just got out of a marriage. He's going to divorce his wife. So he's fucking hooked up with a hot chick, yeah, and he fell it. in love with her. That's basically it. Yeah. And that's not. We're not above that. Nobody he is above falling in love with a hot young chick. Yeah. Yeah. He fell in love with her because he probably hadn't been fucked in the last like. No, he does. So. Yeah, like, Haley, he's fucking whore no, regardless. You, but can I yeah. say something? Did you hear what she kept doing? What? You didn't hear the fucking. She kept. Oh baby, she, baby. Oh, I'm sorry, babe. She kept saying sorry. Because baby, what rubby? I love you. Exactly. That's how she gets the money. They were out both of manipulating mm. each sure, other. Yeah. Sure, it's a, sure. It's a fucking sick relationship. I think he should be able to say whatever the fuck he wants to I say. Agree. I agree. Like, I don't think that anybody should be. But to, yeah. to, to make a big thing about this that some old dude or some old rich dude might be racist is, is absurd. He, he has, has it's all about, about money. That. Everybody he has knows shit, that, right? He has, he has stuff for you to take away. If it was a regular eighty-year-old guy, no yeah. one would give a fuck. She would never record no that. No one would care. But I don't. I don't think that anybody she should be, be with them. I don't think that anybody yeah. should be. Something should be taken away from them because they said something racist. Look, I, that's why they want to take it away. I don't think so. I think that, and I and I, Dante touches a great point there. It's like as comics. I am afraid of the of the the liberal media or the right wing media or whoever them being the people to dictate what's offensive, what's not offensive, which words we can say, which ones we can't say. I would rather say, hey, dude, let that guy be racist. I don't got to be fucking friends with him. I don't have to play for his fucking team. I don't have to do any of that shit. Okay, but don't don't sit there and say, oh my god, yeah, you now, can't say these. But now words. they're taking away all the sponsors from the team. No, no they're, they're not taking it away. Left. They just don't want to be associated with that. The was left on their own. I yeah, don't but, yeah, but that, that, why, hang why on, are that they taking that hang away? On. That affects the players. But you have that to, affects the black players, sure. not the owner. As, but you, yes, it does. Yes, it, it does. It affects, affects everybody. everybody. Lose money. Money. Yeah, but why are they the being league. why are they being punished? But the question for is, him. the real question is why are they taking it away? Because they're they taking wanna, it away. Why? They're afraid because they don't think that racism exists. They're no, because they're trying to hide the fact that the racism does exist. If 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 this, they're almost going. Oh my God! I can't believe this happened. This is an outrage. It's bullshit. Nobody thinks that this is an. Uh, it, nobody's outraged by this. Nope. No, the only they're, people they're, that are, they're afraid about of the PC money. cops. They're Clearly. afraid of it's they're afraid money. The sure. NBA, guys, guys. the NBA doesn't want to lose those sponsors, and then the players are mad. They don't want to play the Clippers. They got to get them out. They're going to lose money. That's a third, one thirtieth of their league. Now, they need how, them out. how do you think they're going to get them out? Because they, they already they, did. He's they banned. Did. No, Today. he's banned from NBA. For, what, what will happen is he'll, oh, he'll, the, he's banned from NBA for life, and then I guarantee you, over the course of year. They'll just talk him down like you got to sell a team. It was a press conference today. It already happened. happened. The head of the so NBA he, came out and said he has to sell the team. So no, 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 no. He didn't say it. They did not say it. he. There's no right for him to sell a team. No, they, if they have there's, two thirds, if they have two thirds of the people that are at the top of the NBA, they can make a decision. That he, he, has he could to sell fight the team. that till the day he dies, and he will fight that in court for three years. Yeah, 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 he'll his, fight it till the day he dies. Here's his my yeah, his, but he's going to take the team home. Here's my problem. I don't think that black people are not taking the team. I thought it was your back. That's the point. But actually, you just made a great point because. You didn't uh, uh, that if he does fight it until he dies, <laughs> then whoever inherits it from him, let's say his might kids be the girl <laughs> inherited from him. Oh, that'd be great. Right, would the NBA then still mm. come after whoever? Probably not. The because the son-in-law already came out and said, "I don't, you know, I, yeah, I think son-in-law runs the, runs, runs the team as well." He's like, "I don't, we, he's a bigot, blah blah blah." I want to oh, be disassociated man. with him. Really? Which yeah. looks, uh, but in the service, because the media treats it the way it does, you have to say that yeah. behind closed doors. Look, this motherfucker is probably they're yeah. probably dinner. They don't really give a shit. But you have to, and I think it's kind of a sad state of affairs yeah. that that has to be the plus. You have to throw your family under the bus yeah. because yeah. he was tape saying some stupid kooky shit. It's just but they have a history stupid. of racism, some kind of history of racism. Yeah, he's There's been. He's been sued. Yeah. Hold on. He's been sued a few times by like um, he owns like uh, I guess like shitty buildings, and apparently they said that he's racist. But any landlord who owns buildings, that's one of the first things yeah. that minorities go at is and they're yeah. racist and we sue them. Especially and also if you fire somebody. Yeah, definitely. Well, yeah. look, that's here, right, uh, Chris. Here's the deal. It's just, uh, I, it's I, I just want to say it's not black people that are taking this team. Hey, no, that's you're not right. The people I, I, that are gonna I, I, I'm not blaming the blacks. It yeah. is, it is, it is, but that's what will happen. That's the white people. But it's that's what will happen. It's, 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 well, it's, it's more it's no. liberal. It's liberal white guy against it, it's, racist white guy yeah, no, it fighting right. each other. You're I'm right. just wondering what is the precedent here? Is is it is is now when it comes out because these conversations can be recorded all the time that somebody 
thinks has an offensive belief yeah. and expresses that belief to somebody intimate to him. It's coming to that, though. I would like a list of the beliefs which entitle you to what, lose what, your history. Okay. It's coming to that, uh, Hatred against blacks is one. Must, I don't think racism is even one. I think hatred against blacks is one. No. I don't think hatred against whites is going to qualify. No, nope. I, no. I doubt hatred if against you are Jews is going to qualify. Guy, Jews well, will definitely, well, you know, you know Jews will definitely qualify. No, no, no. I don't. I don't think. I it don't the same either, Look at look oh, at yeah. Mel Gibson. Mel Gibson. Dude, when he Mel Gibson. Gibson. If, if, she, if, 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 he, if he had said, "Listen, I don't like to see you on the, with that with that Jewish guy," I don't think it would be. No, quite nothing as bad. would happen. I don't think anything would happen. But like, nothing happened to Mel Gibson. He's been in movies since. He's yeah. fine, dude. No, but it took he's a while. Not fine. It took so, him for a year. Wait a he's second. So, or but is, you, is, but you is, have, is, you have the, the whole he's Christian. He's not fine. You have that whole Christian. He's not fine. Whole, you have that whole wait, wait, Christian wait, wait, people wait, 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 supporting right, him. Hang on one second. He's not fine. No. He's out of the business. He was he, they they he, Apocalypto, which is one of the greatest movies of all fucking time, was not nominated or even yeah. considered yeah. for yeah. anything. Okay, which is ridiculous. He was that that he yeah. was taken out of the business. Does he do cameos once in a Yeah, he does shitty movies now. We're talking about one of the greatest directors, actors. Uh, he, actors. he yeah. was at the top of the is gone. He yeah. was supposed Wiped to be the in, fuck um, out for just telling the truth. He was supposed to be in the hangover, <laughs> but they being gave a real him, ass dude. But they, <laughs> so he is not fine. So go ahead. I'm sorry to interrupt, but, but that's it, he's not. But the, and the reason the why he's still me. reason why he still has the cameos and still has the things he has is because there's a whole Christian, a, a, a Christian movement yeah. behind him that supports him. You know who They're supports behind him the whole. You know who supports the Jews more than anybody? Christians. Well, well, you're Christians. Talking about, yes, because and, because first they think of all, that the, not the blacks. No, because no, Israel no, is no, where Jesus. Other, so Israel is different. where Jesus is coming back. Sure, and they want that land protected, and they don't want a bunch of Palestinians over there fucking trash and all. Yeah, because then the the, the the second coming won't happen if dude, if they yeah. if the but really, Jews are in not the in the end. Just, everybody a seminar Middies Middies politics. <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> when it's all said and done, everybody's is loving why. this because it's it's must see TV now. Who Everyone's hang on ESPN loves it. I'm Joe List. Oh, okay, great. I've been on the show for two years, <laughs> dude. Uh, as a, as a, as a comic, what are you saying, Joe? You cannot. You Hang cannot on, let Joe say talk. He hasn't, he hasn't talked. Well, I'm just saying, minutes. everyone, everyone's loving this. ESPN, the the, the ratings are all through the oh, roof. because this it's is great news. Everyone will be Sports all over. Sports Center that, yeah. is but only that, talking about this. They love it. That's all it's about. Yes, it's all it's about. It's money. It's it, every day they're dying for somebody to die, a twister to come through a town, a fucking of tsunami, course. someone sure, to say something fucked papers. up. Yeah. It's fucking nuts. Of course, the Boston Marathon bombing is the most exploited event in the history of sports. Fuck it's, yeah. it's, unbelie- it's you know, embarrassing. You bombed out some people. I'm a survivor, that, by not, the way. You're not a fucking. You I were, was there. You were five blocks away. I'm a One survivor. mile. Dude, you you can't as a comic, you cannot say right faggot on stage now. Like you, there's a difference. You can feel a difference. There is a difference in the in yeah. in the, in, yeah. in the well, audience look, now. I, 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 said it before. I don't think faggot is a word that you should use on stage, though, in anger or like you faggot. We're not talking about in anger. But How would you, you use faggot? It. How would you use faggot? I say faggot in a joke. He really threw under the bus right well, there. Yeah, I, like I thought you were. Now, nah, relax, you. faggot. I'm just saying. <laughs> <fucking scared. laughs> Can I, can I, can I have a quick Thank point? you. Joe. List. Yes. Well, here's the, part of some of the PC stuff makes sense. It's when there's repercussions. If you say faggot on stage and the audience is like, uh, that's a positive thing. Right. We were using a word faggot that is horribly offensive, and we're like, hey, we're not using that anymore. Oriental or Negro, whatever the fuck. Some right. of this is like, that's offensive. we got to stop saying that. When you lose your career because of it, mm-hmm. that's when it's a problem. If you say to a faggot in front of a room full of people and they're yeah, like, hey, starts, we don't really like that. Where does it that's, start? That's where good that people protecting where people. Where does it start and where does it end? Either you're going to let people say what they want to say or, you, or you're not going to let people well, say what they want to say. Well, that's what I'm saying. The first one, we are letting what you say what you want to say, except the audience might go, well, we're kind of off put by that word. Yeah, I used to do Friends jo- of ours don't like it. You do a joke about that's really misogynistic and it's not funny. The the crowd lets you know, yeah. and it's like ugh, that's that's, that's just the way mean. You learn your but that's how you that's how you, exactly you become a better comedian because you ah that joke really just stinks. Re- but yeah. you need that flexibility to become a better comedian. You have to go out but and the, try but shit. But the funny comes, comes from funny comes from the same yeah. place exactly. that not funny right. comes from. But I'm saying it comes from yeah. tr- trying to be such funny. A big difference. I'm saying if you bomb because you said faggot. That's not a terrible thing. If no. you get fired because you said faggot, I, do, I don't agree. But how, on, how, on, how, does, the, how do people go from getting fired to bombing? It, it's the same path. Well, That's you could the get, same path.
It's, I think it's funny is funny, and I don't think that any one word should be banned. If you can make the word faggot funny in a joke, you should be able to do it. And be, it, the, because the way the media just blows things out of proportion with faggot, negro, or whatever right. it is, dude, everyone is super sensitive. Yeah. It's Nobody actually cares. So, people in Boston use the word faggot with each other every day. But when they're, in a, when they're in a room of people <laughs> and they're looking around and they go, oh, shit, if I laugh at the word faggot right now, I'm going to look like I'm a bigot because the media... Wait, hold up. The guy, the guy just like two weeks ago, the guy who invented JavaScript had to step down from his chairmanship at Mozilla because he s donated a thousand dollars to this referendum to uh, against gay marriage. You, you know about that? I didn't know uh, about I, that. I, I didn't. That know, was I didn't. Huge None of news. us are as smart as you. This was huge. So th this was a, this was a this was a he, none he of us know what the hell you donated, are. You lost me at referendum. He, he donated a thousand dollars in in uh, in alignment with a position that at the time Barack Obama had the same position. Right. And Obama had gone on record saying that his he believed it because his Christian beliefs taught him that gay marriage was between a man and a woman. And this guy donated a thousand dollars because he and thought he there should be civil down. unions this and not gay marriage. Thousand dollars. What a cheap bastard. By and right. he lost his he lost yeah, his job. That's they, a problem. They, like an he was head of Mozilla and he. He's a big, big shot. And by the way, hold on. The truth of the matter is, like, look, I disagree with uh, that. I think gay people should be able to get married. But at the same can time... Can you not say the truth of the matter anymore? We get it. Just say what you're going to say. Gay people should be able to get married. The but at the same on. time, some, you don't have to agree with my opinion. If you have a... if you have a, uh, Your beliefs are based on a strong Christian belief system that you were raised with... Then you're stupid. You, you ahead, are, you but I'm not... Here, dude, then we're stupid. They think we're <laughs> dumb. No, we're right and wrong. Everyone has the right to their own opinion. They're not stupid. Hold Nobody up. should lose their fucking jobs over having a belief that they're not hurting anybody right, over Martin Luther King, Martin Luther King believed all that Christian stuff. The, that whole, civil, the whole civil rights movement was, was, was couched yeah. in, and, and fought for in, on, on the basis of religious... Uh, and by the way, also the, the black community is the Bi reason that, it was stupid. The reason that gay marriage it's wasn't even dumb. passed the first time with Prop 8 was because of the black community. That everyone came out be to vote for Obama <laughs> yeah. and, and droves. <laughs> so and then the byproduct of that was they were like, we're not letting fags get married. You have your fucking mind. <laughs> he does read the papers. It's the yeah. truth. Yeah. It's yeah. absolutely the truth. It, yeah, it's true. <laughs> the papers, the papers. All right, listen. <laughs> the the point papers. of the... We're going to end because it's 5 o'clock <laughs> and we all know what happens at 5 o'clock here in the studio. Uh, the internet goes down because apparently downstairs they... they the waiters shift and the internet st stinks and then the video crashes. Yeah. Everything goes away. So this is a hell of a bomb. Yeah, it's uh, <laughs> <laughs> that was a lengthy bomb. Look, we're gonna we're not gonna we're not gonna solve anything here today. I think we will. I think we, we I, I think I, we saved I, lives today. It was very interesting. As soon as Lynn left, it got very uh, it got smarter. Yeah, <laughs> she was fucking tripping on pills. <laughs> Oh, did she do that? She remember the time on my podcast? She, I. What happened? She destroyed it. She just wouldn't stop talking. Really? What <laughs> do you mean? Talked over everybody. I didn't. On my, she was like on pills or something one time. Or something. No, she's actually good now. <laughs> Whatever she's taking now, you can actually throw tinfoil on her, and she'll just <laughs> and stare at that for like ten minutes. <laughs> just keep throwing stuff at her, and she'll stare something at it. Something shiny. <laughs> I see her. She was on her phone. I, I was told doing her. this with my fingers, and she just got <laughs> <not> focused. Just <laughs> I threw. I threw a hat at. I threw a hat at her face. It hit her, and she got mad for a second. But then she looked down at the hat and started reading. That like what is this? Did she feel it? <laughs> no, she didn't feel yeah, it. it. She <laughs> made me so mad this weekend. Hit me in the head with her pocketbook. I'm sitting at the table. She's got this pocketbook. Uh, she's a block with, away, with but she's got to carry it. everything in her life in it. Apparently, there's a wrench in the bottom of it. Hit me in the head. <laughs> it hurts so bad. I'm like, what the fuck? She goes like, oh, what happened? I go, you hit me in the head with your stupid pocketbook. Then she grabs my arm and pinches me as hard as she can. And it she hurts flirted. so bad. I'm like, ah. She goes, now nah, you're not thinking about your head. Oh, God. She likes you. No, that means she's fucking that's insane. Like she got all crazy grandma trick. <laughs> that's, a, that, that's a cartoon trick. That's like a fucking sitcom thing that you really don't do in life. Anyways, Ling, I, Ling, she, was, she was good today. She was, uh, she was focused. So, Did she talk about Last Comic Standing? No. Was she in it? Uh, yeah, as far as I know, she... she uh, I don't want deleting this. I'm not... No, don't say anything. But I love that you'd really just fuck everything and just tell everybody everything. I asked, did she talk about You said, was she in it? You're, you're like, yeah, but you're not supposed to answer. I fucked she's up. In the, no, she's in the commercial. It's okay. <laughs> you're right, Robert. I'm sorry. Anyway, uh, anyways. All right, listen. Dante, thank you for coming Thanks on. Thanks for having me. I gotta, have you ever done his show? You should come do my show. You got to go to Brooklyn to do it, though. He, well, you got to put him on the spot for it. He, he, no, no, I would love to have you in. No, he lo he'd love to have you Oh, uh, sure, I'll come. But you go to okay. Brooklyn? Noam would actually fucking crush it on your I show. Know. No, no, uh, yeah, definitely. Noam, Noam really would. He'd be great on your show. I'll, I'll I go mean, to Brooklyn? I'll pick you up. No, no, I'll, 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 I'll drive. No, get picked up. Like, I don't want to get in a car with you. <laughs> dude, dude, no, dude. that's not it. That's listen, not listen, drive, not drive listen not... get picked up. <laughs> no, get picked up. Please. Get picked up. Get picked up? Yeah, you don't want to get in a bad neighborhood? Yeah, don't go in a It's not. I live in Crown Heights. Did I just imagine Dante, live, right? Dante oh, and Noam on the back of a motorcycle? 
Yeah, but not where your people live. He lives in that part where his I'm people live. Two blocks from your people. I'll park where my people live. I'm <laughs> Eastern Park, Eastern Parkway. I'm right, on, right, two blocks from Eastern Parkway. One block from Eastern Parkway. Listen, Dante, what's your podcast? It's uh, beigephillip.com. Beige Relas- Philip- relationship uh, podcast on from a male perspective. Yeah, how to get pussy oh, without awesome. getting throat cancer, right? Yes, mm-hmm. I do I'm teach that. My yeah. friend, my friend got my very good friend got uh, throat cancer from eating pussy. Your which friend? My very good friend, Joe Yannetti. He's a funny guy from Boston. Great He's guy. He's got throat Is that cancer. HPV? HPV, yeah. Yeah, unfucking believable. Eight pussy. How long do you have to eat pussy for? Four hours. Straight? Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't know. Just gotta eat right. it from somebody. Yeah. Joe, Joe, Joe let's stop overthinking time? it. You Joe, gotta eat well and exercise. You won't, you won't have a problem. Oh, my God. That's not true. I eat pussy all the yeah, time. Yeah, just one, right? Does she have HPV? She I assume. HPV. I don't know. But Girls gotta, have HPV. She can find out, right? Can't they find yeah. out? Yeah, there's a test. She, yeah, she knows if she has it. She knows right. if she's got it. If she's she, just not if telling you. She's had her cervix scraped a couple times. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. God. Here's the deal. Find out if she has it. If she has it, you got to make a choice. But even with an HPV, they also there has to be the particular strain. It's a brand, brand. Yeah. That's related yeah. yeah, explain to the that. What is the brand? that? Uh, there's, there's a, <laughs> I guess there's a bunch of viruses that are qualified as HPV, right. but they it's have subtle differences. One. Yeah. And there's like two or three of them which are associated with, uh, with a cervical cancer. And I the guess one, the one that's associated with warts is not associated with cancer, yeah. which is nice. Yeah. Okay, so she no, has no, warts. They, 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 there's some overlap. Does oh, she have okay. warts? No. Okay, then you. Well, we I'm, I'm worried about everything. You can't tell them they have wars because we can get them. The wars can be I on the inside. I still want to know. If Your I'm... girl's clean, dude. She's fine. She seems very You're, clean. She's very clean. She yeah. showers yeah. every she day. She looks clean. Yeah, she's yeah. not. You're good. Yeah. I still want to know it's if I can sweet. get HPV. Now Kelly's pussy, we're worried about. Yeah, well, no, I want to know if I can get HPV if I suck a dick that has HPV. H- yes, H- yes, H- yes. HPV. Yes. But why don't you H- get the guard? Get the get the shot. Don't they have a shot for it now? Gardasil. Yeah, she's too old. Yeah, no, she's too old. You have old? to be under a certain age. Yeah. No, I got it before, oh, before I turned you... twenty-seven. Well, you shouldn't have your phone on your vagina. You can get cancer that way. <laughs> why is that? Is it too old because of the, uh, you have to pay for it if it's too old, or it doesn't work? No, no, it? it's just you have to be under All a certain right. age in order to get it. Yeah, to get it for free because it's like four. No, no, not free. The vaccine doesn't work. After you're a certain age, really? Yeah, look it up. Kelly's Kelly's bombing. You know a lot of stuff. She lied about, about that. vaginas and you know, diseases. Lewis, I tell you what, <laughs> he could just make that up, though. We don't no, know. No, Lewis <laughs> is a very he's he's well read. Yeah. Well, not well read. He's he's better well read than you too. think. Yeah. <laughs> he's surprised. You, you understand what I'm yeah. saying? <laughs> that's Lewis why might the, be the smartest Puerto Rican. That, that's why I I really like Lewis because he's <laughs> it's a game show. But that's probably why I don't have HPV because I've had those injections. You're not, are you smarter than a Puerto Rican? <laughs> <laughs> yes. You, game show over. Lewis, you got you got your show. Uh, when is your show coming out? Uh, hammer fisting? No. Uh, we got hammer fisting, which is your show. What are you talking? When's my show coming you out? You got a show this weekend. What, this is going to be. This is for the I live know. people listening right now. Live people, this May second and third. Me and Chris Scopo, Oni Perez, uh, New Haven, Connecticut. Joker's wild. Yep. Unfucking believe. We're going to Frank Pepe's on Saturday night after the show. We're getting hammered at a bar on Friday night after the show. Yeah. So I'm trying to get Chris Scopo into a fight with somebody. Look. Oh yeah, this is the best. Outside the hallway, he goes. Let's get into a fight this weekend. Let's do it, bro. Let's not, not get into New a Haven. Fight. And no. it, this why is why. And this and is why. And this is why. He is l- never going to live up to his potential because he's still a fucking street thug. He, th- he, he doesn't know when to fucking. He's got a first headline gig. A lot, lot of fans. Listen, gig. a lot of a lot <laughs> of fans. A lot of fans coming from this show to support him, and he's like, "I love rowdy shows. People scream out. Let's get into a fight." I mean, he's a fucking moron. Bobby, you're what very negative. He has vastly surpassed his potential. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he should have been dead by now. All right, you got what else? You got your free show. Where you doing um, good? Come you're to doing good. New York Labs, May 15th. It's going to be Labs. the dark comedy show. It's, up, it's up, upstairs. upstairs. It's, upstairs. It's, it's a theme show. Yeah, it's comedy in the dark. The, the, it's just You can just hear the jokes. You can't see anything. It's going to be fucking How crazy. are you going to get to the stage? We have ushers. That are How do you go to the bathroom? The you don't. It's one hour. You're, so, you, you're so here's the deal. You're really going to know how shitty these jokes yeah. are. <laughs> okay, we're going to... that's the experiment. <laughs> hand jobs, making out. It's gonna I awesome love that, though. It's going to be great. Dude, no, the idea is it's an experiment. Can you make people laugh without the visual aspects, without the, the facial expressions? Why don't we just play right? albums? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sit there. <laughs> just, yeah, and if you want to uh, come down to the Comedy Cellar for uh, two sold-out shows <laughs> with the top comedians, and they have lights on them, so you can actually see yeah. them tell the jokes. Fucking idiot. It's just a fun, different thing, dude. Yeah, all right. Go yeah. see it. No, go support it. Yeah, and sure. the best part, it's free, so you know you're getting your money's worth. Bobby, do you want to do it? <laughs> no, not at all. Why not? I Because I am going to be here doing shows you don't know that I, I do i actually booked myself may 15th may 15th i'll be here yeah i'll make sure i'm here all <laughs> fucking four shows at the cellar um 
All right, so, <laughs> all right, Joe, what do you got? Just the podcast, Tuesdays with Stories on iTunes yeah. or SoundCloud. And uh, check yeah, it make out. sure you check it out. Chris, it's real fun. It's a great show. It's Mark Norman, like I said before, and Joe, two of the funniest guys that ever stepped foot in this studio. Oh, and thanks. they have their own show together, and uh, it's, it's an amazing show. Very funny. It's got millions of listeners. Yeah. Millions. So. We've gotten uh, $500 worth of Chipotle gift cards. Right. Yeah. <gasps> you do That's a podcast great. with Mark Norman? Yeah. yeah. I yeah, it's that. great. Really Very good. Funny. He, I, you should I, do I, their I, podcast. Uh, yeah, Unless though, he's, he's, he can't do. He's got a lot. He's got a I big. I think Mark house. Norman is really, really funny. He's great. Yeah. He's, he's great. So fucking Love funny. Um, and I'm then right here. No, <laughs> <laughs> I would say the same thing if he was here and you weren't here. Oh, thank you. Mark Norman is very, very funny. <laughs> Mark, <you're really> funny. <laughs> Mark Norman's the funniest man. <laughs> uh, I want to thank you guys, uh, Scopo. Uh, what do I got now, this weekend? Yeah. Uh, just if you're listening live, I'm going to be at Atlantic City with Nick DiPaolo on Thursday night at Harris. We got one show at 8 o'clock. Me and him, uh, we're you know, co-headlining this show. It's going to be a great show. Did you Let's- take my job? You're no, opening I'm, for Nick? No, I'm actually headlining. Oh. Is this Thursday? He's actually, I think he, he goes up first. He, he doesn't, he goes up first. We switch off, so it's kidding. a great show. Can I come, Robert? Yes. Do you want to go? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Thursday night, Atlantic City? Thursday night, Atlantic City. You, hey, you, are you going to go? Um, no, okay. but I'll go now. You no, go? I'll, I'll drive. I swear I'll go with you, Noam. Okay. Let's fucking do it, dude. Yeah, me and Noam are going to go on a... Okay. okay. Oh, yeah. Everyone's okay. ignoring Kelly now. <laughs> come, let me go. You want to come? Kelly yeah. wants to come. No, uh, no, no. 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 <laughs> I got, I got, uh, I got four, five, you know, four seats in I've never car. been in Atlantic Plus City. Me. I want to see it. I got four seats in my car. Okay, great. So, so take so up three of them. Don't worry about it. Four tickets? Four tickets. I got to make sure it's okay with my wife, but... No, then you're not going. I'm just Put some money now, in now, I, I can yeah. see her. She was fighting. We go to do CPR last night at the place. I walk in. They're fighting with the guy on how long <laughs> the class is. Her, All the, I heard his, about his, that. His mother, her, his wife, and the mother-in-law. And the mother's like, I, 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 can't, I can't do this. I got arthritis. She's like, I can't. She's like, all right, fuck it. Don't push so hard. This guy literally gave up. He's like, all right, uh, let's. Because they said he's home alone with two babies. And we're, we're all, all like, oh. All my, my mother-in-law came home and she said, I said, how was it? She goes, all Robert kept saying is, I want to be team leader. I want to be team leader. <laughs> well, they right? really say that, Robert? No, they goes, we need a team leader. And he voted me. But I know it made, you know, Nicholas wanted to be leader. And Robert's like, and I'm team leader. I go, so I kept on just playing it up. This guy didn't get it, though. I kept going, I'm team leader, right? Anytime he'd ask somebody else to do something, i go, hang on one second, Tony. But I'm still team leader. He's like, absolutely, you're team like, <laughs> You're like Lewis when was, he moves. I was so, <laughs> you're like Lewis. So you're like, uh, but this like guy, CPR class at the Rotary Club, you know, like C- the Kiwanis Club uh, volunteers. CP, CPR class, they're very, very serious with it. Mm. Like, you know, you. so I was doing exactly what he wanted, so you have to walk in, room clear! And Dawn goes, speed, my wife like, speed it up. <laughs> stop fucking stop hell. talking so Dawn. fucking slow. They all hated me last night. I love it, dude. They fucking hated me. I'm like, I'm team leaders. Clear, I need an AED. <laughs> Call 911. He is unconscious. <laughs> this guy loved me, though. That's perfect. <laughs> they had to be careful because they, they give you a certificate if you we didn't get it. We didn't get it. Right, but 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 if they did, and then if... Yeah. if then they, if you didn't actually take the course right, they could get sued for that. Yeah, no, he it was a good course. It was very quick. He was a good guy, and now now we all know CPR except for you, except for you. You you get to bail out if the kid's choking. Um, so that's it. So uh, no, yeah. check out his podcast. What is it on again? I know it's not on us. Whose hmm. podcast? Mine. Yeah. What is it? I'm on Sirius XM Radio. Yeah, Sirius. Look at how uh, I, I got. A, don't the I, I'm the show. one who came up with the show. I heard it the don't, other night, by the way. Look, no. Don't come up with. Say it like that. I'm the one who came up with it. I'm on Sirius XM Radio. and It was uh, on Saturday night. It, it, it yeah. was, well, it's on uh, Thursdays at 7 o'clock, and then they replay it twice on Saturday. Yeah, it's called Live. You guys are wondering where the show went on our network. He took it and- I'm thinking of coming back, though, Robert. He, oh, well, I'd love to have you back. He took it and put it on Sirius. So if you guys are a fan of Live from the, com- of Live from the Table, which is one of my favorite shows um, with Noam, Natterman, uh, and a bunch of comics, it's, it's unbelievable. Make sure you check it out on Sirius Satellite. Chris, you're going to be a, a, co- a life coach someday. Uh, yeah. But, but uh, until then, you can get fries. <laughs> <laughs> Very fat. No, what do you got, buddy? Uh, thanks, Tom. Uh, you know, uh, I didn't really mention this, but I actually, I you know, I teach men how to talk to women. I kind of. I know. I can gonna tell have, what listen. Dante we're going to have you right? back on with Dante. Dante, you should have him. Yeah, on. no, I just yeah. I, when I heard that, I was like, I'd love to be a part of. Yeah. It's cool, man. All right, I would love. That. Do you talk to them? All right, you're coming back on. Cool, I gotta have this asshole. Uh, just, no, just not a good way. We're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna really rip you apart. Yeah. Have you ever actually used a dental dam with a woman? 
No, he's no. talking no. to the microphone. Okay, he said no. All right, listen. Uh, go. To my other. I'm going to at Stress Factory Friday night. I'm at Harris with Nick on Thursday. Stress Factory at New Brunswick on uh, Friday and Saturday. I was going to bring Lewis and this asshole, but they're both uh, doing Lewis's first get headline it's gig. Not my first headline gig. Well, so um, I mean, I mean, that's that's a better show, Bobby. I mean, right, check it out. Go to robertkellylive.com. I'm at Poughkeepsie at the Chance Theater May 10th. I'll be there too. Um, you can, you're not coming with me on that one. Do you, are you? No, I'm not. I will, though. No, you... <laughs> I just pulled the Kelly Fistuka. Oh, mate, can I come? June uh, June uh, 05, Off the Hook Comedy Club. June, uh, June 5th, sorry. June 5th, 6th, 7th, I'm at Off the Hook. And, and 8th. 8th. Oh, Jesus Christ, I'm there for a while. And but anyways, go to my website, robertkellylive.com. Download my award-winning Robert Kelly app off of iTunes. It uh, automatically tells you where I'm going to be. Uh, we got the Riotcast app, and we got the brand new Riotcast website, which is amazing. Video, uh, it's got photos, it's uh, easy to navigate, and has all our amazing shows right up there on Riotcast.com. Make sure you support all the shows. You guys are great. Thank you for listening to the You Know What Dude podcast uh, once again. Dude.